All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is, of course, time for the good old Mastering Magic. Hi, Mr. Scotty Mac. I am here joined by a fine member of my board of directors. It is, of course, board meeting day. That means I am, yes, indeed, dressed up. I have the suit and tie, the shirt. We have delicious beverages. We are ready to rock. I have with me Josh Knight, Steve Flogger Josh on Twitter. Josh, welcome back. Thank you for having me once again. Of course. Do you have my video up, by the way? I have your video up. Oh, I don't see me. Oh, you won't see you. No, 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 on, on my Skype. I don't have my... Uh... So this is what you look like? So you should see my screen. If you just don't yeah. click open, yeah, but that's all you'll see. You won't see your video on my screen. No, no, but on my Skype, I should be seeing my own video. And I'm not. I'm just getting a, a loading. No, no, I, I don't need to see your Skype window. <laughs> you can't see my screen that I'm sharing with you? Is that what you're telling me? No, no, I can see the screen you're sharing. But usually when you share video with somebody, you get your own little video feedback. So, you know, you look like I got it now. Okay, okay yeah, because mine just refreshed. So, sweet. Gotcha. All right. So, Josh wanted to... So, Josh... You, of course, get to call the shots tonight. You get to be, Ooh. you get to be the boss. I am just I'm going in charge. to. You are in charge. I'm going to just do, you know, basically whatever it is that you tell me to do here. So that's sweet. Uh, but before we get to that, I of course have to thank all of the wonderful sponsors. I have to thank FaceToFaceGames.com for all of their unyielding support. You got to make sure that uh, you give them all the love in the world for all of your paper requirements. As far as your online stuff goes, make sure you're checking out mtgotraders.com. There's all sorts of codes that come up as well throughout the course of the show. And uh, we also have to make sure that we give a thank you to the fine purveyors of good spirits at Innocent Gun. As we raise our glasses and cheers and celebrate this momentous yeah. occasion, which is the board meeting bringing us all back together. So for that, Josh, I cheers you. Cheers, sir. Cheers. I don't have a drink prepared yet, unfortunately. Well, the night is young, and so are you. So, all right. Uh, this is Red White Aggro. Tell me about this deck, why you like it, and uh, what it is that uh, brought you to playing this deck tonight. If with being able to play anything in the world, this was what you picked. Um, it's like I said, what we've been doing for the past couple of weeks. Uh, it's the proactive deck in the format, which is typically where I like to be if the deck is strong enough. Um, and I think this absolutely is. This is uh, kind of the boogeyman right now. Um, so I looked at this deck to punish the uh, blue-black. You know, you can stuff your Yugen. I don't really care. Uh, you're going to be dead on turn five. All right. Uh, so this is basically some very, very slight modifications made to... Uh, Eric's list from the top eight of Memphis. Uh, you had said that there was uh, a list very similar to this that you and your friends have been playing to some success? Correct. Yeah. This is like 73 of what we've been playing the past couple of weeks. Okay. Awesome. A uh, card that when we were going over some of the uh, some of the selections, some of the changes you made, you made sure that you added a Valor Stance to the main deck. Uh, I mean, we, we here at Mastery Magic uh, appreciate the value of a Valor Stance. Uh, but another card that you made sure you added an extra one of was Wild Slash. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the numbers have been going up and up on that card. It started at zero uh, not that long ago. Um, but with the prevalence of the uh, you know red-white being everywhere, uh, you're bound to see the mirror quite a bit, being able to slay the Seeker. Um, not having to tap out right away um, and being able to leave up, you know, the, uh, the threat removal is fantastic. Uh, we've slimmed on uh, lightning strikes as, you know, it does the same thing, essentially uh, a bit more efficiently. But, um, yeah, great addition. Uh, we really like three at the moment. Okay. Uh, obviously, we've got two of Brimaz, Rabble Masters, and the Horde Burst, Settler, Seeker of the Way, all four of's. Um, Stoke the Flames, again, for a Storm Breath Dragon, all four of us. Like, no need to kind of go into why those cards are amazing, because they're all just absurd. They do oh, yeah. everything what you need to do in the deck, and Storm Breath Dragon especially is, like, very, very powerful. Uh, there's three one-ups. 
that are interesting choices. You often see multiples of some of these and then maybe none of the others, depending on which list you're looking at. Uh, one of Outpost Siege, one of Ashcloud Phoenix, and one of Chandra Powermaster. Uh, talk us through sort of why you have one of each of these and what you're looking for out of each of these cards. Um, the Ashcloud Phoenix, it's another flyer. Um, we were playing a lot more of this card. Uh, we started around three, and it's gone down in number. Um, with less Doomwake Giants around now, it might be better. Um, but being an X1 is inherently weak. Um, Chandra and Outpost Siege, you could almost you know call them the same card. They've been somewhat interchangeable in why they're uh, each a one of instead of having two of either one. Um, I don't think anybody's uh, come to a concrete decision on which one's better at the moment. Chandra's great. Um, I'm still a huge fan of her, where a lot of people have just opted all in on Outpost Siege. Um, being able to just play Chandra plus one or get him for five with a Rabble Master, uh, the turn after you play it is still massive. In a 90% of the time when you play Outpost Siege, you just say cons, I'm drawing extra cards. Uh, that's what it's there for. But Chandra, you do have the, uh, the choice to change your mind. Okay. Uh, so this 15-card sideboard, you've got a lot of really good choices in here. Um, some extra numbers to a lot of the cards, like extra copies of Valor Stance. Uh, obviously, very good for sort of the against the devotion or the larger, you know, the larger monsters. Um, you've got uh, an extra copy of Brimaz, King of Arescos, coming in, I guess, against like uh, control decks or burn decks. Yeah, even the mirror um, things where you know they're not dealing four damage a lot of ways. Okay, and then you've got multiple copies more of the Ashcloud Phoenixes and Outpost Sieges. Uh, along with some other bigger cards like Sark and Dragon Speaker, um, these all kind of coming in at the same time. Like, are you are, at some points? Are you looking to become the control deck with this? Like, what's going on? Um, you never really become the control deck. You're typically more proactive. I'd say the exception to that is uh, against like the heroic decks when you're just you know remove a threat, remove a threat, stick a threat, and kill you eventually with it. Um, Sarkins come in. Usually, uh, they'll never come in as the 5th and 6th Stormbuck Dragon. Because we're an aggro deck, we have mana requirements. Um, they're typically coming in instead of Stormbuck Dragons, where you want your 5 drops to be able to flame flash people as well as attack before in the air. Um, yeah, same thing. Uh, Ash Cloud Phoenix is when you need the threats in the air. Um, and the resilience, obviously. Same thing against the removal decks. Okay. Uh, speaking of removal, you've got uh, a nice little healthy addition in addition to the stance. You've got two copies of Arc Lightning, one copy, uh, two copies of Glare of Heresy, and one copy of Erase. Uh, Arc Lightning doing obviously a really good job of kind of cleaning up cards like Goblin Rabble Master when it's, you know right after it's been played. If you missed, uh, you know you missed the instant speed, you clean up the the Rabble Master and the token. Um, uh, Hordling outbursts, obviously, like just being able to trade that card one for one is a huge blowout. Um, but yeah, otherwise, like it's just also pretty good against the token strategies. Uh, Glare of Heresy, obviously really good against Abzan and Abzan Aggro. Pretty decent in the mirror, too, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Yeah, uh, being able to remove Bramazes efficiently, uh, especially against Heroic, it hits almost every single one of their threats. Good thought, good without thought. Without being a damage basis. Okay, you've also got one copy of Erase, just for the random enchantments that need to go, right? Correct. Speaking of random Which enchantments. Master of the Unseen. Yeah. Um, card that everybody kind of scoffed at at first, and then people started playing Yugans, and then everything died. Um, mastery, it's really good. You stick it on turn two against the control deck, it's really hard for them to interact with it. Um, you know, it gets under a disdainful stroke, and then just pumps out advantage in the late game while getting around Yugans minus. Um, also, it's a turn two play that doesn't just die to the bile play or the, the uh, hero's downfall. I think that the fact that, that people often overlook is that the manifest tokens, uh, if you have a sea of them, they can't just get all obliterated by a bile blight. Uh, they're not, yeah. They don't yeah. have names, per se, so each yeah, individual sure. one needs to be taken out, so it's pretty sweet. So, yeah, so as far as the mana base goes, it's fairly standard, right? We're looking at like four temples and four battlefield forges. Uh, nine mountains, five plains, and uh, mana confluence, and then one copy of Evolving Wild. So this Evolving Wilds in the list is pretty interesting because you kind of like, sometimes you want it as a dual land, but more often than not, you just want to make sure you've got that mountain. 
Correct. Yeah. Right. Just want to hit Chain to the Rocks or be able to find your second wave source with Yeah. So, anyway, so that's the deck. That's the list as we've got it. Um, we're going to rock this shit out tonight. Jam some cues. I am excited. Um, let us play some standard constructed tournaments with the red white. Oh my god. Um, standard 8 man is a thing. We will join said standard 8 man. KYT the champ is here. He is here. <laughs> Just finished recording KYT's videos today. Ooh. Yep. When do those drop? Uh, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Okay. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. So that'll be pretty exciting. Uh, am I playing in the daily? The daily event uh, has long passed us, unfortunately. What daily? What daily? Who needs a daily? Oh, there's a standard daily at 11. I don't believe I'll be playing in the standard daily at 11 o'clock. Rough. We'll be here until like 3. That's likely not going to happen. But we can also jam these two mans because we can. Yeah. Uh, Speedy, I do post this at YouTube. I do, as a matter of fact. You can follow me on my YouTube channel. You just need to find it. That link should actually be on it down uh, the bottom of the page. All right, so we get to play against Ogre. Awesome. Uh, we are not on the play, unfortunately. We are on the draw. Okay. Snap, keep that. Snap, keep. We have a good curve, two, three, four, five. We have three lands. This seems pretty sweet. That's what I like. Oh, yeah. The Seeker into Cordling Outburst is just about the curve you want to see every single game. It's pretty awesome that, like, Seeker the Way, this innocuous little uncommon, has become yeah. one of the, like, most important cards of the format. Yeah, just the premier aggro 2 drop right now. Nobody bat an eye at it when they saw this. Yeah. Matt is asking, of course, what beer I'm drinking tonight, as if he has to ask. It is, of course, Innocent Gun. Uh, I do have uh, in front of me the Irish whiskey finish tonight. Oh, sneezing. Oh, my God, so much sneezing. Okay. Uh, we're okay to open a mountain here. Mm -hmm. Rabble Master on three. I guess if he kills our Seeker, we can play Rabble Master on three instead of, instead of Outburst. Yeah. Although this looks like um, Sly. So I think almost definitely we're going to want to run this uh, Cordley Outburst out on three. Okay. Battlefield Forge. We're just finding all of our mana. So that's. Oh, yeah. Now, what do you block here with the Seeker of the Way? Like. They just wild slash this and then get in with their dash guy? It's possible. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's no, the plan. there's no delay. I don't live in the future. I swear. I just guessed. <laughs> oh, look. A dash guy. Again. So this is sweet. Like, mono red sucks the life out of everybody in every format. <laughs> yeah. It absolutely does. That's pretty sweet. We have an outburst. That's a good way to live against the red decks. Seems good. Um, you can actually... Yes, Fab, that's right. Uh, Jack Maniac, you can actually go to their website, and uh, I think there's a web store, and if there isn't, then they can direct you to where you should be going. So that's cool. What's up, Will? Let's get some more numbers here. Hey, Will. We'll share some... We'll share our terrible news later. Uh. Hammerhand. Uh, Hammerhand. You filthy. Three, four. Well, we'll just not block with that one then. <laughs> um. So this one's kind of like we're gonna throw one of these under the bus. 
Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're just absorbing as much damage as we can here. So Being a nine is precarious. It's not, you know, too dangerous. We can stave off from here, but uh, that looks like a good Chandra target if I've ever seen one. Does it? Mountain. Okay, so hold up. We have options here. What are you thinking? This is a 2-3. We, we have, we have the possibility to use both our removal spells. Um, I gotta move this little Skype. So we here. could lightning strike the scout and then stoke the monastery so sphere? It's possible. I don't know if we want to do that. I think uh, playing Chandra might just be safer because we, we, we remove the threat we leave him with the 2-3. Um, he can't... Can't what kill our Chandra? Huh, our 8-man oh, started. Yeah. Oh, God. How does, uh, how does Hammerhand falter? It's not when it enters the battlefield, is it? Yes. It is, it's just when it enters the yeah. battlefield. Okay. Yeah, so I think uh, playing Chandra is fine. So even right. if he has a removal, we're still able to block the, uh, the Swift Spear, and then we hold out our removal for... Uh, potentially more important threats. Alrighty then. Uh, one land hand on the draw. Got a mulligan that shit. Mulligan. Better. Yeah, absolutely. No. No attackers. Hey, what happened? Oh, he used Titan Strike to save his Marty Scout. Oh, well. Okay, so that's fine. I mean, we still just have a pair of blockers. Unless he's got another hammer hand or the removal spell. Even then, we're going down... Fordling Outburst. Still five. Okay. Do, 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 do. You just swing the Swift Spear here? I'm curious how he's going to attack. I think he has to just swing the Swift Spear. I think we're playing the mirror in the other match. Let me text him. Oh boy. Well. They're both coming at me. I think we just have to, like. Oh, I just need to block both. Yeah, I think. He's got coordinated assault. He's got coordinated assault. There's not much I can do about it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here I'm gonna play Evolve. Look, we even drew the planes. We don't like. We're not doing anything on turn one, so we'll just pull a mountain with this, or just pull. A, yeah. yeah. It'll be the uh, the planes actually. The planes you want? Okay. Source. Yeah. In case we see a Brahmas. Let's okay. Nope. He traded it all off. Oh look, chain of the rocks. Well, we can Chandra a Goblin, Chain to the Rocks, the Swift Spear, and then hold up Lightning Strike? Or you want to just play Rabble Master? I think I'm fine with just playing Rabble Master. Alright, can do that. Kill this, kill this. Sure. And then this. This, this, get out of here. Alright, and this, rabble, rabble, rabble. Jeez, played another one. Valor stands. Look at me. Look at him go. Perfect mana. Fortunately, Valor's stance is somewhat lackluster in the mirror. Yeah, um, unless he plays. They Valor. almost never have a threat to remove with it, and it's often we just play a threat and are tapped out while they remove our threat. Do do do. But I do like where we are at in this game. Well, I mean, like we've, we've got like seven points of burden in our hand. Our opponent has yeah. 
now two cards in hand. Controlled the board pretty effectively. We have ways to finish the game. Alright, new sky with ga dash. It's awkward. We just do we trade that for the Robin Master? Absolutely. Yeah. Alright, that's done. Now this. Seeker of the way with one red mana up. You greasy bastard. Uh, you just play Rabble into this, or you want to Chain of the Rocks that thing now? What do you think? So, um, I think we just have to Chain his. We don't want him to start gaining life. I think it's going to auto-target. Yep. Sweet. Alright, so it's our turn. We drew a Wild Slash. We're at three. We're almost dead. That's super awkward. I wonder if we wanted to actually get a land there. Wow. Chandra's a seven? We could ultimate her. Is that a thing that ever happens? Oh, wow. Yeah, that could just uh, end the game next turn, huh? Uh, block? <laughs> I think we'd lock him. Uh, stoke him? Yep. Target? Ooh, uh, yeah, you want to do a... Uh, Tap the pain land for not gaining anything. To twelve? Yeah, slash him. Oh god, are we gonna do this? I think we just ultimate her. I, mean, I don't see why we wouldn't. She's a. Uh... Exile the top 10 cards. Or s 7 cards. Yeah. No. Look at our exile pile. Hopefully we have castables. No? Not a single one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, well then. Now we gotta hold these just in case. Yep. <laughs> I mean, we're still in no means in a bad spot in this game. That was hilarious. <laughs> and by hilarious, I mean not at all. Totally whiffed on the Sean Joel Ultimate. That never happens, right? That never happens. No, that, that never happens. Especially in this deck. We added the, uh, the Wild Slashes just in case. I'm going to play this so if I draw a land, he's dead. Absolutely, yeah. Land up the top, and you lose. Alright. You know the sideboard for this one quickly? Uh, yeah, it should be relatively so easy. Rebel Master here. Not much I'm going to do about it. Alright, sideboard. What would you like? What do you not want? Cut this out. Okay, I think... Right away, Arc Lightnings are coming in. The Outpost Siege in the main deck is coming out. Okay. I think two of the Dragons can become Sarkans. The Valorous Stance can come out of the main deck. Yep, got it. Do you want Bremaz? Do you want Glares? Oh, no, this is all mono red, right? We want Bremaz in. Ooh. Although over. Yeah, over a Rabble Master. Yep. That's good. Good? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I like so it. we'll give that a minute. Uh, we're taking one here. Like, champs. This is the big one. We kind of have to, like, win this one. This one's way more important than the other one. Yeah. Yeah, this is a real game. All right. Mini in the house. Well, we just drew ourselves Stoke the Flames. I like just stoking the Rabble Master. Yeah, right. Next turn we'll the board. On, uh, stance up. That's like the best stance gets in the mirror, is being able to hit five mana with a threat. Sure. In a um, protective per turn. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, 
All right, submit deck. Take one. All right, play land. Oh, Brimas! All right, I think I like landing that more. Okay, we will do that. Brimas, King of Orescos. Ideally, if he has a, uh, a lightning strike and a stoke in hand, this will induce the stoke of flames, and then we'll be able to play our Stormbreath Dragon, ideally more protected. Yep. And we are able to protect it because we are good at this game. Skill game. Woo! Skill game. That is. Uh, this seems like a reasonable hand. Yeah, we can keep this. Uh, having the insurance of Arc Lightning being on the draw and uh, Hordling Outburst if we don't hit white mana. And if we do hit white mana, we have a pair of Chamber Rods. Now, we don't block here, right? We just, we're going to take this one like champs? Yes. Yeah. Or we will have to take one because it will get chained uh, to a rock. Pass here. What's he going to do? He's mono red. He's not doing shit. Die. Die, die, die. Chain to the rocks. Well, you got a chain to the rocks, my Brimaz, are you? There's nothing I can do about it. Sure thing. That's a secret of the way that I can't cast yet. That's a little awkward. But, a white land, and this hand is insane. Whoa! Rabble, rabble, rabble. That's painful. Rough. Alright, so we need some help from our deck. Oak of Flames works. Um, well, why don't I play the Rabble Master, get the trigger, and then stoke off the trigger? Ah, I like it. It's the best use of my mana. Yeah. Now, so I do this. That happens. And then I can do this. Why can I not do this? Where did I have to stop? What do I have stops for? What's going on? Oh. You used to hold priority on the beat. Oh, is that what it is? You don't have a... Yeah. I have... Oh, do I just need to do that? Stop on my combat? Oh, that's terrible. This is just... I've never really played Rabble Master. I just don't know. I don't think he can bra bravely make that block, though. If he does, he's just a fucking animal. Wow. You're an animal. Okay. Alright. Well, what is this? Is this big? It's a 3-3? Three, three? As a prime lightning strike target that just came rolling off the top of our deck. Get dead. What was that? Uh, it was a Seder Hoplite. Oh. Okay. We're in a lot of trouble in this game, man. Yeah, I didn't realize yep. that we had, to, uh, we had to hold control for that, but that's something that I just learned. So thank you for educating me. I appreciate it. Oh, Erzuka. Suit hype! Hype! <laughs> Soul Fire Grandmaster. Is this where oh, we God. get stoked with buyback? Does it happen? Or Leader Felix? Uh, well, we still suck balls here. This is terrible. Awesome. So we didn't hit anything we needed. Not a damn thing. Okay. So everything's wow, going here it way. comes, man. Here it comes. Oh, God. War Leader's Helix with buyback. Wow. Whammo. That's the most brutal thing I've ever seen. It's pretty savage. And we're still getting doing to the Goblin. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, look, another outburst. Well, I guess I have to arc lightning. Right? Like, do we arc lightning so we can keep uh, ahead of our yeah. hours? There's no other choice than to arc lightning. Open. Okay. 
Well, we got a mana confluence. <laughs> we still have to kill that rabble master, don't we? Yeah. Still the play. We'll take five next turn at least. Down to one hand. That's the stoke the flames. I know, I got it. I don't see a lot of ways out of this game. Me neither. He's still recycling stoke, by the way, every turn. Yeah. yeah. So that's. That. I mean, awful. we could we could scoop if you'd like. Save our clock. I don't really believe in giving up all that much, but we're really sucking it. <laughs> we have a one more turn. <laughs> like, it's real bad. He's gonna make effective use of his two mana, so he can still buy back his world and seal it, so just no. Hell yeah, he is. Wouldn't you? Are we dead yet? Jeez. Okay, so we're still in this game. This is that what you call that? Well. Is that what you call that? Being still in the game? Or, uh... Sure. I literally have nothing. I do not care what you do to me. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Uh, we'll trade all these idiots off. I don't care. Yep, that's the way this goes. I don't think uh, we wanted to leave Mentor unblocked. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And that's why. This is how he kills us. Cute. I mean, he's only got one more card in his hand. So he could leave us at one. All right, so we drew a lightning strike. Oh, he's got two. He's playing two. Two of these. Ugh. So awkward. So nines. We're not quite dead. One, two, three. But we can't just play Storm Breath because he's still got Stoke the Flames. Correct. It's yeah. His only card in hand. Now we uh we have lost. Because now he just attacks us and then stokes us. So yeah, we can sweep that game. Okay. Yes, I want you. Uh, outburst. Because we have all the outbursts. And now this guy won't get blocked. He won't get unlocked again. All right. What do we got here? Uh, concede game. Concede game. Alright, so in this version, still want the same thing, right? These, these, this out, two of these out. And then you want stance out, bring us in. And then you wanted what else? The arc lightnings? Yes, arc lightnings definitely. And what are we cutting for those? We need to cut one more card. It was just one Rabble Master, right? Correct. Okay. That's still the plan? Still like it? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Do that. Uh, declare a blocker. There. That's what we will do. Do, do, do. We have a land. Here's where we start getting out of this game. Seeker of the way? Chain of the rocks? Or do we just, um, at this point in time, we're just going to play another outburst? Or Rabble Master. Let's play Rabble I think Rabble Master, yeah. They're killing them quick. I like it. Don't let them get to these burn spells. I guess now all these guys have to attack, which is super awkward, but... That's yeah, fine. Yeah. Ideally, you won't have threats on the table after this next turn. Truth. We would like to play first, as a matter of speaking. Worth, I swear to you, man, this is just not okay. Oh, nope. Yep. Not Best okay. five you could ask for. Minus seven. Minus seven, yeah. This is like the best four you could ask for, plus the Sargon. Let's look at it that way. It's pretty close, yeah. Uh, we block with Rabble Master here? 
or a double block? Just single block, right? We we'll just block just with the Rabble Master, I think, because with Seeker we're yeah. going to need to gain life, right? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Go do your thing. And then we will turn to Seeker you. Yep, great, super awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, planes? Seeker, go. Yeah. Probably gonna get ranched with something, but hey. Alright, so he just killed our guy, which is. Oh, he killed our Seeker with a Wild Slash 2. What a grease ball. Oh. Yeah. You're not hurting for threats at this point. This is very true. Attack with all. Yes. And then you know what else is sweet? I can play Outburst. Yep. And then also have him stoke the flames. Solid. It's pretty good. Uh, he played his own Seeker. So don't we just blow him out here? Yep. Isn't that what this is designed to do? He is blow you out. Yeah, okay. Do, 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 do. Chowza! This, uh, this double queuing has got to end real fast. I would really like that. That'd be delightful. Yeah. He plays a Foundry Street Denison. Um, so we win. Uh, chain him? Oh, Mountain. This one. Because I don't want to get double ranched. <laughs> And then we just do this. I know he's not dead dead, but like we'll make him scoop. Oh yeah. Close enough. Once we win this we're done, so. Uh attack with everything but one goblin because he has a spell in hand. Or he has a card in hand that could Too be a spell. Late. Plus a spell off the top could kill us. Too late. You have nothing, you're dead. Say it. All right, sweet. Now let's get back to the task at hand. Yes. You, sir, are blown out. All right, so we have like 11 it's... minutes to win two games. We can do that, right? Oh, yeah. All day. Because <laughs> if we don't, we're out. This is, the, uh, this is the deck you want to do that with. All right. How about no land? No land. Play fair. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what I like to see. Well, well, all right. I'll take that. That's fine. I'm not greedy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Daddy likey. Uh, we want this, right? Because we want lands for Sarkin, and we can play Rimmels yes. on that? Yeah, put that there. Absolutely. Get out of here. Get out of here. Already? Boom, boom, boom. Combat. Attack you. Your idiot's dead. Take three. Game three, six point swings, all day or day. Scoop, just scoop. You know you want it. <laughs> just scoop. You know you want it. Those five cards in your hand aren't doing anything for you. Nah, they're not even half as good as the two we've got. I mean, they might be in there, but. Well, I guess that happened. It's probably really good for us, though, right? Oh, yeah. One less change to the rocks to hit Brahmas. Yeah. <laughs> Top. Well, that's Sarkin next turn. So he can spend his uh, stoke on Brahmas so he won't have it to use on Sarkin. I like that. So it's all working out. Unless he plays Stormbath Dragon here? What? What did he just... Oh, glare. Glare, glare, glare. Right. Fine. 
Ooh, didn't follow it up with a threat though, so we're we caught a break there. Sarkin plus you, attack you, plus you. Die, uh, idiot. What is our opponent doing? We melt a five in this game, dude. Yeah. It was bad. That was. What is this, Elspeth? Outpost Siege. Outpost Siege. Rough. Cons. Who wants more cards? Ooh, that outpost. That's pretty good. Alright, so plus. Right. Let's get him dead. Attack. Yep. Oh, wait! Shit! Uh-oh. That was awkward. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I think that one we're gonna call a punt. That one, uh, I could've had him dead next turn. Okay. Yeah, that's right! <laughs> that was the Moto misclick. Alright. That's okay, because we're just gonna rip a lightning healer, or a lightning strike and call it a day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you said that anyway. No we got this. No problem. There are no heroes downfalls in red and white, sir. I'm unsure if you're aware of this fact. Our opponent has drawn an inordinate amount of lands this game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've had a lot of lucky breaks here. And there it is. All right. So, let's do this right. Let's attack. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fuck is going on here? Okay. Are we playing the outburst and then stoking him? Oh my god! 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 Okay, let's just stop this nonsense right now. Okay. Wait, did we not plus him? No, I didn't do. No, I that that's yeah that that's what happened here. Okay. So that's what happened. That's why I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Stop being such a nice guy. I know. I just, I want to give him all these opportunities to win. I just do. So we're going to play this Hordling Outburst. And then I'm going to plus him. Because I yep. want to. The awkward second main phase plus my Doesn't Sarkon. matter. Does not matter. And then I will pass the turn. And then I will stoke him at the end of turn. And that's what will happen. It's almost as bad as the awkward play my third untapped land after you mana leak my spell. Yes, yes, almost as bad as that. Yeah, got to just, like, get my shit together here, because it's pretty off point. I agree, you have a hoarding out first. Now what? One, two, three, four mana? Now what? Come on. So we're gonna need Let's about see. like eight minutes to be oh, yeah. for another game. You got this. As long as we pay attention. Jeez. Punt hype! Punt train is running. Punt, 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 punt. <laughs> okay. Stoking Sarkin. Stoke you back, go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Take a minute here. I'm just gonna breathe for a second. Yeah. Okay. We're so not we gonna make any changes here, right? We're just gonna leave it as is. We're gonna so play like the same. It matters. Yeah. I like uh, just run on this way. Okay. All right. Alright. Ah, there. A 
I feel better. I feel better. Oh, Sam Black was in this, but lost. Oh, damn. Woo. Yep. I'll be right back. Punt, oh, so what is the punt count? So every time I make a mistake, okay, so what we're trying to do with the stream is I'm trying to improve as a Magic player, but not only that, I'm trying to help the people that watch improve. So because of that, I keep track of all of the terrible mistakes. And if I take the time to mark it down as a punt, and I have the punt count staring at me in the face as I stream, then it helps me to remember the mistakes that I've made. So that way, and plus you guys can hold me accountable for the mistakes. So that's really important. <laughs> Clough, I agree with you completely. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I never even thought of that. Uh, this is a sweet, sweet, sweet land to open up with. I like it a lot. We got very fortunate with that draw. Uh, I don't think I want that one, though. We've got enough. I have my single mountain, so I am okay. This is sweet. So it probably means that he's got the wild slash for our seeker, but I think we have to play it anyway. Because it's not going to get any better. We're back, boys and girls. So I Ooh. opened up with a temple, and I pushed a battlefield forge, and our opponent went mountain and then turned to temple. Oh, wow. Which tells me we... We're probably well. He went evolving wilds mountain, so like I can't see this thing living. Oh God! Outburst. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So do we, we do we outburst and attack, and we don't trade it, right? We just outburst. Uh, what does he have in hand? Three. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, we don't trade here. No. Because we have the Chandra follow. -up. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking too. We have the trump bird. Chain the speaker, or the seeker rather, okay, no problem. It's like our opponent is short on mana. Uh, shit, I probably should have blocked those. Well, yeah, maybe not. Oh, I would have traded two. That's pretty sweet. Now. Now, do you like Chandra here? Yeah, I think I still like Chandra. I mean, like, yeah, because he's short mana, right? So it's not like he's going to just, like, untap and drag her. Plus this promotes a, uh, a mana efficient turn for us next turn. Yeah, because we can go Seeker right now first. Um, so yeah. what do we think? So we just want to swing with one here or swing with none? Swing with one, I think, yeah. Right, because we want to just trade these two off if we can? Yeah. We have a lot of planes. Do. Where's the unhinged lands? We actually... Oh, God, he arc lightning to us. You awkward. Uh, so the speedy... The issue is, is that I don't play... Like, there's nine mountains in this deck. And I just don't have nine unhinged mountains. Um... So, we're still plus in here to take that out, right? Like, I mean, we're just, we're getting a lot of value just by killing these guys incrementally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got a lot of land, and we've got spells to play. I don't see a point in zeroing her at this point. But I think easily we uh, can play Seeker and Outburst here. Yeah. And then we still have Wild Slash the next turn if he does have some sort of follow-up. Like, our opponent just had no lands. And we've just, like, done real well here. 
Yeah, we lucked out. We were able to really curve out and capitalize on him kind of stumbling there. Yeah. Chandra too. Like I said, I'm I'm definitely not sold on the all out proceed. Chandra just kind of takes over games sometimes. Well, I mean, she's going down like a blood on prom night right now. I mean, I'll take the stoke going at her. Sure. I haven't gained that much value already. Sure. So, but, yeah. God, this guy, huh? <laughs> Just no respect for our creatures. This treats them like garbage. Hot garbage. I guess we're just gonna swing here. Yep. Send in the team. He's down to one card too, which is sweet, so he's basically off the top. Uh, like the one card he could pull here, I mean, he did any short land too, right? So unless he's got land in hand and then dragon. I really don't care too much for what he's doing. Um, now, are you sure you don't bring glares in in this matchup? Like, oh uh, yeah, that was um, we were kind of just running back to that uh, that mono red board plan. I would have brought glares in. Okay. Um, just even even if my opponent was just playing chain to the rocks. Okay. Well, that's nice. Wow. I guess we'll just get in there. And trade if he wants so, to trade. Only thing we really fear right now is the Storm Breath Dragon. Everything else will come handled. Yep. And I mean, then he needs to have, like I said, so if he's got the dragon in his hand and that's what he's sitting on, then he's just waiting to draw an untapped land. Exactly, yeah. That's yeah, that's just good. Uh, should we just chain to the rocks that instead of just lightning striking it, though? Um, no, I think we lightning strike it. Okay. I mean, this is one card that never gets bigger, right? So, like, that makes a lot of sense. Right. Yeah. We could just see a, uh, a Brimaz or something like that we might need a chain for. Oh, that seems unlikely. Right. We just need to see one of our payoff cards. We want to find our dragon here. That'd be delicious. We'd even monstrous monstrosity it if we untapped with it. Oh no. Oh. That's not this one. That's the other one. Oh. So Which is funny because I think I still got my pack for that. Weird. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Sweet. All right, you have a card. Come on, baby. Well, I guess we're blowing one of these. Sure. Yep. Get out of here. Two at a time. Nickels and dimes. <laughs> Take it. Yeah, this last card in his hand is going to be Dragon or Grimaz. There it is. Oh, well, we'll see. Nothing. No? That's a Stoke the Flames. That's pretty good. Okay. Shortens the clock a bit. Yep, it Is this does. insurance against the dragon finally? Yeah, that's the other thing I just realized. Yeah, you're right. Still kills the dragon. That's sweet. Can't really just be sitting on nothing, right? Sure, you're a seeker of the way. Really? So that's game. There's this card here, Chain of the Rocks. Maybe that's what he's got in his hand, is a Chain of the Rocks. We haven't given him a target that's worth anything. It could be. Yeah, he hasn't been to... Although, I, mean, I wouldn't have gotten within two if I was him, if that was the case. I agree. Alright. Well, we won. Well. So far, 2-0 in the night. 
That's nice. So. All right. I mean, like, Red White, it, Red White's a sweet deck. I mean, there's no question. when it, It's got some of the most efficient curve outs of the format. Absolutely. And I think that that's one of the things that really contributes to its staying power. Yeah. You know, this is a, it's very much a chain to the rock seeker the way Horde looks up for a stick. Yeah. Super powerful. Yeah, I found that uh, the stock and Wild Slash is just going higher and higher and higher. Um, like, yeah. I would 100% add a fourth Wild Slash before the fourth Lightning Strike. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I've been very impressed with it. I've been playing, yeah, I've been playing uh, in every red deck in standard. Just been, been playing Wild Slashes and Arc Lightnings. Just the, both the cards are too supremely good right now, especially given the prominence of cards like Rabble Master and Outburst. Yeah. So. Very awesome. All right. So we are playing against someone else. I don't know who. Uh, thanks, Fab. Yeah, thanks, Speedy. That's pretty awesome. I tried real hard. It was uh, pretty difficult there while I was double queuing and trying not to screw up. But, you know, we only got so deep, so it's all good. We did our best, maybe. <laughs> hey, our best was good enough. Come on now. We came, out, we came out with two punts and two wins. I mean... That's what matters. That's what matters. <laughs> scoreboard, bitch! Scoreboard! <laughs> oh, man. All right, less than one minute. Whoa. So we need to win this, and then we need to win another one. Sure. Done. Eight mans, I mean. We need to win this eight man and then win another eight man. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I don't, I don't see why we wouldn't do that tonight. Uh, what's mastery for? Mastery is for the um, control matches. Correct. Because People playing you get underneath, and then you just go wide and obliterate your opponent. Hopefully, we play against one of them, and you can see it. Yes. Yeah, it's a real fun card to put to work. Red, white, aggro. Now the oh, other have... change that it... Go ahead. Uh, yeah, the other change that it didn't have you make was a single uh, Soulfire Grandmaster. I had played one this past weekend. I was at two originally, three Seeker, two Master. Okay. Uh, it's not a card I've totally discounted, although some have. Uh, as we saw last round, it does a lot of work in the mirror. The guy was buying back World Leader Helixes against us. Yeah. And that's unbelievable. Uh, so we're mulliganing this hand, right? Mm -hmm. Like, do, you want to keep this, don't you? You want to keep it. Are we on the play? We're on the play. I would mulligan this. Oh. And that's why we mulligan the hand. Yes, yes it is. Because <laughs> this yeah. was a very, very good mulligan for us. Like we said, the value of this deck is being able to curve out um, in a two and a five drop. You know, even if we find a three drop and a two drop gets removed, we're probably in a bad place. This gives us removal, gives us an outpost siege to work towards, and we're already three lands away there. I really like this hand. Yeah. It's pretty good. Keep. Temple. And... Survey says... I'll keep it uh, temple. Yeah. Fourth land. Surprise. Sure. Speedy. Uh, Sorrow seems amazing against Mastery. Um, the value yes! in Mastery... Oh yes! boy. We have made see the value in Mastery tonight. Um, but the value of it is you're landing it on turn two under their counter spells and immune to removal. Um, and then it's putting your creatures into play. It's putting anything into play off the top of your deck. But if they are creatures, they can't be countered because you're activating an ability. Um, and then you have things uh, like Brimaz, um, which ideally play around the Drownosaur, which you can just flip up. It also plays around Bile Blight. In that, uh, like Scotty was saying earlier, morphs don't or manifests don't share a name. 
uh, they are nameless in that, so they will only be hit, or one of them will only be hit by a Bob Blade. Mastery of the Unseen, Jackie. It's the white yeah. one enchantment that uh, manifests guys. The other thing that's nice about that, too, is it keeps gaining you life as you flip guys over. You gain a exactly. life for each creature you control for every creature you flip up. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. Gumby, Gumby was playing it uh, in his Naya deck in the finals yeah. of yeah, uh, the SCG event and was at, like, 148 life or something stupid yeah. like that. It was ridiculous. It's unbelievable. And that's the, the one clause that nobody ever reads when they sit down against that card. Yeah. They're like, oh, you get to manifest creatures, and the first time you flip one up and gain a life, they, uh, they just grab their head and cry. Is this happening? Are we getting in with this? Wow. So we got to keep a Rabble Master in play. Oh, he's just really bad. Okay. All right. So we're going so to we attack this outpost siege, by the yeah. way. <laughs> That seems uh, real good against control. Cons here? Yes. Cons! Graveyard, graveyard. My exile pile. Ta da! And the benefit of playing a one of Outpost Siege and a one of Chandra is that sometimes you find exactly the right one in the exact match if you needed it. Ah. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Because Chandra did all be. Chandra did all the work yeah. for us last round, but in this round she eats a hero sample. Okay, immediately. Immediately. Wow, the team guys chatted is busy. Alrighty. Do 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 do. Our opponent doesn't even know what to do, he's stunned by the cons. <laughs> He is overwhelmed at the moment. One might even say he is fit to outburst. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shake my head. Shake your head. All right. Yes. Oh, now what? Now what? Our opponent has disconnected. Well, awesome. our opponent disconnected. Yeah, Speedy, I think that card is actually one of the most powerful cards that you could have at the pre-release. It was insane. I, I, I only lost I only lost a few games, well, like the entire pre-release, and I, I did like three flights or some shit, and two of the games that I lost were literally to that card. So, this is not the daily. Uh, we are just playing standard queues. This is an eight-man, but uh, we played a two-man and won that one, and this is round two of the eight-man. So, we're just going to like grind them for QPs tonight. I yeah, if I had a choice of one card from this block that I can see in every single one of my sealed pools, it would absolutely be Mastery of the Unseen. So we're just snap playing this Brimass. But I'm going to attack. Sure. Yep. Attacku. So it makes a new zone for me. Yeah, yeah so you have your little right there. exile pile. I'm just going to leave it right there. Let's lose Wild Slash up, too. It's cute. Come on, baby! Alright, beginning of combat. Attack, attack. Take some. Rims. This is gonna get dissolved so fast. Oh yeah. You heard me. We don't have a lot of targets with Wild Slash, so I'm just gonna throw it at his face at the end of turn. Yes. Uh, I was gonna say that they should probably just start going at his head because we're not gonna see anything pre board. You're damn right. Unless he jams That's a friggin' cool. Ashidok here, that would be abysmal. But they're generally only on the sideboard of the Dexy says. 
Yeah. Let's play. Let's pay a red mana for that. I like that. All right. Well then, what do we have out post siege? What you got for me? Give it to me. Well, we drew a lightning strike, and we have this spell, which we can play. It's a spell. It's a land, but you get the idea. Uh, Storm of Dragon, one time, maybe, one time. Maybe. I really don't like playing heavily a burst into a wild light here, but. Yep. I think. Uh, I think we leave that on top, and I think we just start playing on his turn. Um, like just burn spells. Yeah, yep. We just attack in, and then if he doesn't want to use the Bob Light to combat, then we can uh, we can just start playing Burn Spells on his turn, making him start using his mana. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yo, what's up, Slick? Slick Jagger! Boy, I'm going to see him soon. That's exciting for me. Uh-oh. He keeps coming to Baltimore. It's going to be gross. So gross. All right. Mark Constantini. Well, do you like this? Die. How does Die that by far. Is that nice? Delicious even? Do, do, do. So the punt count is there. I keep track of uh, terrible, terrible mistakes, whether they are just savage misclicks or whether they are lines that we missed. Uh, by keeping track of them, then it allows me to continually improve as a player because then I will remember what those punts were and I will remember not to do them again. Plus, then the chat keeps me uh, honest, you see, because everybody keeps me accountable for my punts. So Everybody loves right. big punts. Everybody loves the punts. So many punts. Our opponent clearly doesn't like burn to his face. Oh, I'm excited! It's like bringing me beer. Mm, so <laughs> more? Please, sir. Can I have some more? Well, there's this stoke the fly. Oh my god, really? Two, three, four. Yep. Like. So now. I feel like I'm just going to attack with one guy here. Why one? Oh, well, uh, you connect. <laughs> then I'm going to use the other one to stoke. True. And I've still got lightning strike for the end of his turn. And then he's dead. I think. No, I, I think we're just attacking with both. Alright. And then you want to just um, use your mana for stoke flames? Actually, no. Attack with one. I like to blame both spells. Uh, the stoke almost absolutely isn't going to resolve. But I do like being able to cast the lightning strike to follow up. Yeah. And we're going to be drawing multiple cards next turn. So using the mana that way is more, more efficient. Okay, opponent. I'm pretty sure that most blue black opponents basically just kill their opponents by boring them to death. Yes. Yeah, that's the. The uh, the control player's motto. <laughs> Bore him till they stop drawing. God, control players are the worst. All right. This you. This a. This this this. Stoke you. Sure. Just let him have it now. Uh, He's only got we two don't. left, right? Yeah, we didn't. We wanted to let the uh, dissolve resolve, just so he can scry without knowing that he's at poor life. Ah, uh, fair. <laughs> False. Who's this? The Violet Dragon control player's OP. All right. Control's fine. I play a lot of it in modern. I just say that because I'm a, I'm a pure aggro player in standard. <laughs> Well, we have all these lands, unfortunately. Get out of here. Combat. Get ya. 
Well, I mean, what? He bob lights our tokens here. We just cast Horley at first. Yeah, so board meetings are serious. Okay, so here's what a board meeting is, guys. So what happens is I have this I have this Patreon. Okay, there's patreon.com. You see there's a website that's scrolling along the bottom here. And uh, the members that are scrolling along the bottom, the names, are part of my board of directors. They are my top tier Patreon supporters. And so I don't have subscriptions for the stream. I don't have Twitch partnership. So this is the way that I'm generating support for it. So all of these people... And, and uh, I, I run draws every month for the people within my Patreon. So there's a bunch of different levels. There's like a $1 level, there's a $5 level, a $10 level, and a $25 level. And these people in the bottom are part of my, the board of directors are part of the $25 level. So what happens is, is I will go ahead and run draws for store credit to double up one person in the 5, 10, and 25 range for face-to-face -face games .com credit. So there's two draws though that happen in the uh, in in the board of directors because somebody wins the 50 bucks, but then someone else they win the spot on the board meeting. And so what that means is they get to come on the stream just like Josh. I get dressed up, we have some drinks, I get told what to do, and I listen to the people that I work for, which is you guys. So that's the long and the short of it. That's how it works. If you guys want a shot at it, check it out patreon.com and uh, show your support. You also get uh, early access to all the videos on YouTube through the Patreon exclusive channel. So uh, you guys can check that out. And there's all sorts of draws and discounts on swag and all that sort of shit. So uh, love the support. If you love the show, you love what we're doing, do it. Uh, Disco Battle Station, I am getting back into the gym, actually. I am very excited. I'm very pleased to oh, be yeah. here. It's pretty sweet. Um, geez, that secret thing. Oh. So I guess we just attack here? Like... Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. We get to make him answer these and then go threat, threat. So. <laughs> Brendan's got it right. Scotty, I think <laughs> you should punt here. Yes, board members, sir! <laughs> I'd like you to lose. Wow. <laughs> and we forced the downfall. That's where we're one. at right now on that, okay? Okay. So he apparently doesn't have a mild blade. So I'm just gonna play this Hordley out first. Like, should I even? Yeah, yeah, I'd say play both the outburst and the secret. I mean, we get cruxed and we're boned. I mean, then he's tapping out and letting us resolve the burn spell. That's one of our two draws next turn. Sure, fair. And we don't want to just get bio blighted in downfall. That happens anyway. What do you got? Dig. Show us a draw spell. Yep. Start yeah. digging, pal. He's gonna go for the crux. Do 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 do. do. He got it. All right. Okay, two draw subs. Show Fucking us any burn spell. No! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, goodness. I mean, we are drawing two oh. cards a turn. It's like... He's at one. He's at one life. <laughs> Radiant Fountain, Pearl Lake Agent, Bounce Radiant Fountain. No! It's not even a joke like that, man. I, <laughs> shit like that happens all the time! What are you joking about? <laughs> So the biggest insult is going to be Chandra off the top. <laughs> in case we wanted to try every land in our deck. <laughs> wow. There's the bow blade. So you see that you're in mana now, right? I guess that's an answer to the siege. I don't think he's as willing to uh, tap out at this point, though. All right. So. Ooh, things we can cast. Definitely start with the outburst. Uh -huh.
counter it. Counter it. I like Fogo Salte deck, Salte deck instead of Blue Black. But that's just me. Control Purists will say Blue Black's enough. I don't know. Do I resolve her now? Do I stick her? Yeah, I think we have to spend her mana. I can zero her. Just plus her. Yeah. Ah. That's, the yeah. Stroke. That's why. You had a stroke. Oh. Yeah, you sit over there and stroke, you know. Uh, Tommy, I think I'm going to run tomorrow night, buddy. Instead of na instead of Thursday, just because like I'm driving real early on Friday, so I think I'm gonna stream tomorrow night. We'll stream the Modern Daily at nine. Oh, Pro Lake Agent. So, ye okay, this is our end step. Yeah. I thought that was him just tapping out on our. <laughs> just casually dying. Whoa. <laughs> no okay. <big> deal. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. Casually dying. Alrighty, what would you like to do, Mark? I can't believe he was at one. I cannot believe he yeah. was at one mana. Or one mark. Completely crazy talk. Temple. Now, this is game one, and our opponent's at 13 minutes on his clock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is one. So we still have a wild slash in the deck, too. Yeah, we've seen Wild two already, lightning but... strikes or planes. <laughs> Damn it, Tommy! <laughs> I will see you later. Team Geist. We got you. It's always gonna beat me to the punch. Yeah, man. You demanded that link. It was, I did. You oh. you demanded it, so I made it. It's a constant mainstay. It never changes. I'm very happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy and I get a lot of mileage out of that. I like it. People know where the deck came from. It's certainly something oh, I yeah. appreciate. Yeah. I'll have an update for that this weekend, by the way. Ooh. So you guys can all stay tuned for that. What? Uh, our opponent really is agonizing over the scry, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Stabilizing a one is a manifest of the control player. <laughs> Alright, opponent. He decides to push it. Oh, Ashiok. God, if he pluses and like pulls off three burn spells, I will lose my mind. Uh oh. There weren't creatures. Oh. Yeah. One Rabble Master. Okay. One spells are safe. Oh, those the two. Bile Blights are tokens. What a jerk. What a jerk. Super mean guy. Wham, take nine. Lightning Strike Wild Slash off the top. One time. Would be he can't beat delicious. Come on. Probably double queuing. I guess I can't be too upset. We kind of got shafted on that too, so. Dirty double queues. Sometimes you just get trapped, Ming. <laughs> it is what it is. Boo, boo, boo. I played against the guy with the moto name Salt earlier. S A L T. <laughs> Are you I asked serious? If it was Phil Sands. Yeah. You thought it was Phil? I asked if it was Phil. Did you? He said no. <laughs> it wasn't that's, Phil. That's real good. That's real good. Salt. I was impressed. Man, found the human embodiment of Salt. I played against somebody whose name was Hole. W H O L E. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Hole, huh? It's, it's all of you, right? 
Yeah, yeah. Pretty, that's pretty good. Yeah. We take game two, there's no way he wins here, right? I mean, stranger things have happened, Marcos. I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> yeah, he's just eating his clock. I mean, we at one point tried to double Q with Jeskai Heroic Combo, and that was approximately the largest train wreck that has ever been witnessed here on this stream. Yeah, nobody had, I had no idea what we were doing with this deck at all. It was super savage. Yeah, yeah. first time you picked up the deck. Well, there's a lightning strike. All right. Uh, Start with Chain of okay. Blocks, Pearly King Jin. Yeah. As well. Might as well. You can't recast the damn thing, thing, so... Dig through timing? What are you doing? Oh no, you're bouncing him. Okay, bouncing him in floating mana. Okay. Sure. Okay, now watch this. Silly boy. Silly yeah. boy. I mean, he's got the dissolve, so it's not going to matter, but if we had, like, the uh, Stoke the Flames or something to follow up, we could really punch him. <laughs> oh wow! It went through. <laughs> Silly boy. All right, control. You want outpost siege, Sarkins, yep. mastery, Brimaz, ash clouds. Yes. Um, man, it's hard to see. So that's eight in. It is eight in. So we don't want chain of the rocks. Correct. Chains are automatically out. Slashes are out. Slashes are out? Okay. Correct. Stance is out? Yes. That's 60. like it. Okay. Okay. Well, I like that we have almost double our opponent's clock. That makes me happy. Yeah. Feels uh, good. This hand also seems fine. Yeah, I'm trying to keep that. Okay, I'd like more red mana, but we'll get there. We have many of them. Johnny seems to think we want stance in this matchup. By the way, the problem with stance is in our deck, um, it functions almost always as a removal spell, and that's never going to happen against this. As a protection spell, we need to have something like five mana in play and be casting a three drop which is unlikely against this deck in the first place. Um, so, I mean, the, the protection is negligible. I think we'd rather just have threats to be casting. The things we're bringing in, like Mastery and Sarkon, are undoubtedly better, uh, undoubtedly better than the uh, Valorous stances. It's getting better now. All right, we have a pretty good, uh, pretty good curve and clock on here. Yeah, we are going to really start uh, making him answer these. These cards here, Rebel, Rebel Master into Rebel Master. Well, he's got them all so far. Double downfall. Using all the downfall. That seems That's real good cool. for these Storm Breath Dragons and Sarkin in my hand. But I guess then he just starts stroking them, right? Yeah. Ooh, the phoenix is nice. Um, do we just jam a dragon here, or do you want to play a phoenix face down? Or play it face up? Like, I feel like it's going to get stroked, right? Yeah, whatever we're casting this turn is going to get the same stroked. Um, so if that's the case, then why don't we play Lightning Strike and Ashcloud Phoenix? Face down. Also the downside of not using our Ashcloud Phoenix to its fullest, because it's probably just going to eat a Bile Blight or a, uh, some other removal spell. Although... I mean, wouldn't he have played the Bile Blights if we, on the yeah. Dome and Rebel Masters, right? Yeah, I think I'm fine with 
uh, face down Ash Cloud and I'll let him strike up. Get underneath. Yes! You can just strike all shields down. It's not gonna be doing anything else this turn anyway. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. It's running low on clock too, so anything we do to like make it hard for him is good. Yeah. Crack that quickly. Shiok. Okay. So he's got. Sweet. Hit no creatures. Outburst, outburst, mountain. That's Good. perfect. Wow. Alright, talk to me now. Hmm. Storm Breath Dragon? Yeah, we lead off on Storm Breath. Yeah, see one of these to see strokes. So everyone seems to think the right play last turn was Dragon, so that it made him stroke instead of cast Ingenuity on 5. Which is an interesting point. Uh, we attack Ashiok here? Yeah. I mean, I, I still don't think I agree with the dragon last turn. He's shown us that he didn't have the removal spell, and he more likely had the counter. So I think playing around half of the counter spells in this deck when he almost assuredly didn't have any of the removal spells was the uh, the better play. And we use all of our mana still. Yeah. It's not like we were taking the turn off to just cast a 2-2. Two -two. And now we have it in play as a threat, and it can be turned up without having the fear of counter spell. It also can't be responded to with the um, removal spell, so it will at least turn face down if we spend the mana on it. Yeah. Well, now he casts Vile Blight. So now he's probably got Stroke in his hand? Yeah. So now if we hit land, we can Mastery. Yep. He's going to play Brimaz on us next turn. That is rough. It's real rough. So there's merit to leading on dragon, baiting a, a, a disdainful stroke, and then having the star kind of follow up and finish the Brahmas. So we had, if we saved the lightning strike until his end step, he could have killed his Ashiok if he didn't counter it. We get enough more. So that's probably something that might have been worthwhile too. Burning lightning strike early. Oh yeah, yeah, Savage. That that's absolutely something worth considering. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we'll just yeah, get in with this there. dragon and see what we can do here. If it resolves, it does resolve. Oh well. Ashiok. Sweet. All right. So, see if to crux away our stormbreath dragon. Wow, that was a really big one for him. There's those dragon dragon rappers. Two storm breaths, Ashcloud Phoenix, and Brimas. Like that was fucking dirty. Yeah, that was uh that was the best Ashiok plus could have asked for. Yeah. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, only six mana. God, seven mana would have been fine. Uh okay, so we've got to we just jam Sarkin here, see if it sticks. Like, yeah. Yeah. We really want just want to get the Ashiok off the table. I 
Like, I think he's got Dissolve. He only had two mana up last turn, which is why I didn't yeah. counter it. Negate. Oof, that too. Oh, okay. No. Oh, wow. So, luckily we didn't play uh, Master Ensign straight into Seriously, the Seriously, I just, like, got totally wrecked by it. Wow. We got Ashok on the table. That's a bonus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are we getting here? That's rough. Crux for dragons. Oops. Oops. Sure. <laughs> so, I think we may resolve a mastery on scene this turn. I think we may resolve one too. <laughs> Cut the cat. Ooh, another negate. Well. Can't have it dissolve. Can't stand till stroke this. If you got the third negate, I'll flip the table. <laughs> you might. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's six. <laughs> okay. Alright. I like where we're at in this game. I mean we're we're getting there. Uh no, my exploit's been fine. So I'm in a temple, which is sweet with mastery, by the way. <laughs> yes? Yeah, Savage. Uh, mastery of the Unseen is in here to battle uh, the Wraths, especially Yugen, because he doesn't hit them at all. Um, yeah, he Mastery is the premier finisher against these control decks for us. flip it up to if we want to. If we can manifest it and then end of turn flip it up. Yep. I like that. Or if this one dies, I would do that. But... Attack you. Sweet. Go. You got it. Our blue-black opponent is down to two cards in hand. Yeah, Savage, we were just talking about that, uh, David in the finals of the SEG going off with Master of the Unseen. It was so awesome. Dig. You go, man. Down to one card. Up to three, but still. What are we doing? What do you want? Joe Rubai Merklerker. Ah, you can all take it. Step. Man, yeah, if anybody is... missed it, you have to go back and watch the finals of that now. So, uh, Gumby was in there. Brumaz. Is a pretty good card. What would you like to do here, sir? Why am I wearing a tie? Because it's board meeting night. That's why. It is a board meeting. I'm showing respect to my board. Merkler is a 2-4. It is. Base 1-3. Yeah. So yeah, we just shift the turn. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to figure out if he wants to counter this or not. Mother trucking gentlemen. Yeah, that's right. I'll take that. Mr. Bar Bargamals. Bar Bar Bargamals. Uh, why no Geist? Because it's a board meeting and I was told not to. I was told to play this deck. Which is fine. Sorry, I think it's gonna, guys. Yeah, I think it's going to get us our QPs, so I don't really care. 
Yeah. Give me sweet. D's I'll take a look at the second All right, you got it. I wonder if our opponent is going to try to bile blight our manifests. Do you think he's that guy? I hope so. I sure hope he is that guy. Yeah. Mana, 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 mana. Manifesting into... And these end of turn shenanigans are like totally destroying him too. Yeah, yeah. He, I don't think he can physically win even on his clock. Well, like he, if he just slams. Even if he wins this game. game somehow, and we just go to the next one, he's not beating us oh, in yeah. three minutes. Has to get. Yeah, no, we we've, we've kind of locked up this round. Mastery super good. Outpost Siege. Damn it! Oh, that's two things this turn. Um, well, why don't I just attack with all of this? He's going to go down to... Tw nah, fuck it. I'll just pass. Yeah, he just trades some games. Yeah, I'll just pass. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, pal. Two. Sorry. I guess that's what happens when you multi queue with blue black control. Yep. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? This man's learned his lesson, so you don't have to. Don't Yay. be a victim. Hey! Nice. Well, that's 3 0. Speedy. Unless you have something like Stifle, you cannot counter the ability on Mastery of the Unseen. We are playing against Mitchapalooza. I don't know who okay. this Mitchapalooza is. But he's going to face the Wrath. So we'll have to make sure we get in the cards that we want. If we need this glare of heresy and stuff, we'll make sure we want it. Yes. I don't want to miss that this time. Streamer versus streamer. Who's Mitch Palooza? Who is Mitch? I did not know Mitch Palooza was a streamer. Me neither. Oh, Max Mitchell. All right. That's cool. Well, I'm not going to watch a stream, because I don't want to be that guy. That'd be terrible. And I expect that you guys won't be that guy, or those guys, either. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Nobody likes that guy. Well, I'll tell you what, if we win this, I will go and... I will go and, uh... Well, don't tell him I'm streaming. Shit! <laughs> like, that's how you fix that problem. Don't tell him I'm streaming. Anyways. Um, if we win this, I'm going to go and crack another beer. So, there is beer on the line. Let's not lose. This is the last of my whiskey, so sorry. That's okay. Maybe I'll drink beer later. That's okay. Only if I have to. Don't tell us, Evan. It's an unfair advantage. Yes. We prefer to ride bareback. We won the roll. Step one. Uh, step two. Snap, step two. Snap keep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mountain, go. All right. Let's see what happens. Going in dry. That's right. <laughs> and we need another land in this. This is dumb, right? 
Like, we have one, two, three, four, five in our hand. And we're not going to play one on one, but it's still really funny. Yeah. If Abrupt Decay wasn't a card, Chain of the Rocks would be completely busted in modern. Oh, yeah. yeah. That and Fulminator Mage. Fucking Fulminator Mage. All right, here we go. Mountain, go. Boom. Mountain. Boom. Kingdom of the Wild Flowers? No, that's a sweet looking mountain. Foundry Street Denizen. Look at that. Jeez. Just like we drew it up or something, huh? Wowza. Wowza. Well, we've beaten Sly once. We can do it again. So we think he's ghosting us, apparently. Somebody go see if he's ghosting us and then go shame him into not doing it anymore. Do that. That'd be sweet. Yeah. Don't ghost, just shame. Yeah. Shame him for ghosting. That is a satyr. I agree. You have a satyr. Okay. That is sure a switch thing, spear. Bro. That's a pretty good start. It is. This is the draw he wants to see. It really is. I think... We're going to block this. Oh, he's just going to get, get out of this guy. We're going to take this. I'm not trading this idiot off. I think we take it. Yeah, I think so too. All right, Speedy. Way to police for us. That's a robin master. Um, so what do you think here? Like, I I feel like I want to just chain to the rocks and Swiss beer and then attack. Or we you probably should block that turn. What's that? We probably should have blocked that turn. Because that Denison is going to get real dumb with fucking. Uh, how yeah, if you find support in the outburst or anything like that. Uh, I think we just play Rival Master and pass. You think? Yeah. Because we have a second one, we can just trade it for the Denison if we need to? Yeah, exactly. Right. I think we just need to start trading off. Alright. If you say so. I don't know if I like that or not. I don't know if I like that. I probably would have gotten aggressive and tried to put him on the back foot and make him spend his resources. But you're the boss, and this is your day. So I bow to your decision. I mean, we're, uh... Ooh, there's the outburst. Yeah, we snapped you that was coming. We, we play the control a lot better than he does. Yeah. That's my thing. We have an outpost in hand. I mean, we're not worried about running out of resources, and he's going to run out of them fairly quickly. Um, so I think we should have blocked that last turn, and then we just have <laughs> Rabbit with his frequency board. Sorry. Brendan goes, board is leading you down a path of ruin. This is how Blackberry <laughs> fell. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. All right. Don't listen to me. So I feel like um, we'll leave the Swift Spear on the table. Correct. Yeah, and just trade. These idiots. Full trade. Right. Like, get in here. And then we're gonna hit Untapped Land, and we're gonna chain the Swift Spear, and we'll land the Rabble Master, and then he's never gonna hit any action ever again. Just like you drew it up, bro. Don't forget to chain the uh, switch. I'm only okay. on F2, not F6. <laughs> we know you're a little trigger half. I can be. <laughs> it's no surprise. I can be. Alright, here we go. Now next turn, we're going to play Outpost Siege. He still has four cards in hand. We just got to hope they're... Nothing. Okay. This is ugly. What? Oh, block rope. Block the Swiss spear. Yeah. 
Yeah. They can do stuff? If he had removal, it would have just been spent on the Rabmaster, Master, and if he has the pump, he has the pump, it's going to eat it either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here he, like, pumps his goblin? And then that way the Prowess eats the Rabmaster, Master, and he gets in for the maximum four? It. Wow! We just called the bluff? Are you serious? Bam! Savage! Can't cast this card. So we're gonna do this on draws, right? Um. No? no? Do you wanna play it on dragons? Is it creature or player? Whoa! It's it's kind of a lock if we play on uh, dragons. dragons. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Dragons. Yep. Beginning of combat, not attack the Leap master. Back. Correct. Yep. He can't make these blocks at all, right? Like that's just terrible. Yeah. You got a forest spell. I mean, I imagine the cards left in his hand don't do anything because. I mean, like otherwise, there's, there's no way that nope. Master lives that long. Like, there's just zero chance, right? Like, it should be by all rights, this, should, this thing should be dead in the middle. Yeah. If he had, I can't think of things in his deck that he could use that turn. Same thing. I mean, if he attacks, just I'm throwing a Rabbit Master in front of this. Yep. All right. Yes. Now we're on the driver's seat. He can't even block the uh, the goblin tokens with the swift spear because it kills it. Boom. Uh, we'll do it after this eight, man. We'll do it. We'll do it. I promise. We'll get a beer and we'll have a talk. We have a little combo going with our phoenix that so will die and trigger the siege and then come back. Just how we drew it up, boys and girls. It's pretty gross. I wonder when he packs it in. It's gotta be soon, right? What are we doing here? What is even happening? Well, the Ash Cloud Phoenix will block this idiot. Yep. And... I, like I, I, yeah, I guess. Like, he would have just removed it, right? Like, yeah. Like, unless he's coordinated assault here, what is he doing? Same thing. He wants to tighten strength. Oh well. It's fine. It's gonna trigger. That'll kill his other token. Kill his other two tokens. Well, his other one. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Now we need is a land for a dragon. And then this game is over. Mind sculpted. I don't see a huge detriment to not blocking. The way that we're playing it makes it look like we're ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> we, we did call that bluff. Like we did call the bluff pretty hard, right? Like, but I mean, you're right. Like, you should have just, like, you should just killed it and gotten. Yeah, home. Like, you would have been doing other things. Yeah. No. I mean, we have to make the block here. Like, we can't not. Like, we're so far ahead yeah, of board. If he kills our guys, it doesn't matter. Because the outpost siege triggers are going to basically blow out the rest of his guys. Right? Mm -hmm. So, like, he plays his Titans. Because, like, even here, you got to think. So, both the Swift Spear and the Goblin and the, the, the Token are both dying. Right? Yep. And then the both our, triggers are going to are gonna hit. We're going to kill his other two Goblin Tokens. We get our Morph back. Just, we will wipe this board. Be left with three Goblins and a Morph in play. Yeah. Be able to follow up. Like, it's dragon. super gross. The uh, dragon's mode of outpost siege is innocuous. A lot of people don't see a lot of value in it, but in situations like this where people are going to be forced to trade, if you just have huge forces like goblin outburst on the ground, um, 
one one's trade is two twos all of a sudden, yeah. and you know two can trade for four fours, and it gets insane. Oh, it's really difficult for these other aggro decks or ground decks to be able to interact with this. Card's pretty good. Who needs cons? Who needs cons? Alrighty. Maybe. I'm just halfway over there. Yep. Swings. Which you did real quick. Next turn, likely. Since we can't be off a of land for too long. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Wrap it up. Is that the land? No, no. All right, well. And that was the difficult game. We get a lot better after the board. Cut those. You said you wanted these. You yep, want these same plan. Sure. You want that outpost siege out, huh? I do. Oh, that was really good. This is in. This is out. This is out. It does have the downside of a lot of the times being turn four, play this, do nothing else. Sure. So that's it. We're good, right? I did it. Just like you said. Oh, yeah. I like it. Submit. Submit. We side in Core yeah, Firewalker, well, right? Core Firewalker. That's what happens here. Would snap side in Core Firewalker. Not close. Would snap side that guy in. If only. If only is right. Alright. There's a lot going on. Well, it looks like Larry's not joining us in Baltimore. Oh. Larry Schwazy. Yeah. Yeah, I will absolutely have my eyes peeled for you guys on coverage this weekend. Nice, I'm excited. We'll make Team Guys proud. There's a big fight going on about the main deck slot of... Um, uh, Valor Stance going to Harvest Pyre. <clears throat> yeah, I've been seeing that card a whole lot lately. So, I don't it's know. obviously very, very good in Splinter Twin because they play a lot of cantrips. Yeah. And of course, Curly played Splinter Twin this weekend and he placed like 29th or whatever, so he did pretty well. And he played the same list as Marcel's Af or, yeah, as, as Marcel Zafra. And and they played uh, the Harvest Pyre, and he said he killed every single creature in Magic with it. It was absurd. It killed wow. everything from Restoration Angels to a Grim Lavamancer to a Memnite to a Tazigur. So yeah, it's a real card. Yeah. Uh, what format would I suggest for your articles? Uh, find something that you're passionate about and that you can communicate intelligently about, and then write articles about it. And if yeah, people man. care, they will read them. And if they don't, then pick something else. Best advice I can give you. All right. All right, Mitch. Mitchy. Damn it. Damn it is right. Molly. We have to Molly in this hand, right? We can't keep this hand. We're on the draw, yeah. but we can't keep this hand. No. <laughs> Evolving Wilds is fine. Saves us. Ugh. But it's still bad, sure. right? Like, don't we just lose with this opening it's, hand? It's bad, but it's keepable. It's more keepable than the last. Alright. We're, uh... Evolving Wilds for turn one mountain? Yeah. No, oh, God, so bad. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Alright, mountain. Fuck it, I'm just gonna get it and then F6 through my shit. Screw this noise. Comes to play tapped yeah. anyway. Forget yourself. Do you have us dead real fast? No? 
and have me. I mean, as you saw, the mono red deck sometimes just draws a lot of lands and nothing else. Mountain. Uh... <laughs> Matt, if KOT will take my running, he'll take pretty much anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Titan strength here? No. What is what? Are, what is even happening? I don't know. Seeker. Just slam the uh, seeker. <sighs> Will I slam the seeker instead of chaining that monastery, huh? Yeah. I feel like he's got some removal spells. Nope. Just has literally nothing. A lightning strike. Just gonna lightning strike the seeker. Get in for two. He didn't have the uh, the strike. Oh my god. Yeah, because he would have played it in a turn. So it's still the 2-3. I'm still, i still not blocking this. Another land, huh? Let's see what we got. That's not bad, right? Yeah. Uh, chain the Swift Spear. And then... Yeah. Do we attack? Probably not, right? We can. Can we? Off of the trade. We gain three, trade off his entire card. Leave him with no board, and we have Stoke the Flames and Dragon coming up? I don't know. You tell me. You're the boss. What do you um, think? No, I think I just like pass and block. Okay, no problem. He's triple queuing our opponent. Oh lord. Oh lord. Out oh, that's Cons! Con. He goes cons. All okay. Right. So we can still block this turn. Yeah. It's fine. He's gonna start drawing a lot of cards though. Alright, rebel, 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 rebel. Uh, rebel? A swing with Seeker here, or just leave it? Leave it on defense, right? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Searing Blood? Ugh. That's oh. fucking ugly. That's real ugly. Awesome. Yeah, sure. They're all bitching that we're ghosting. Yeah, we're not <laughs> ghosting. Sorry. Ah, oh, well, he's just got it all, I guess. Yeah. Alright. Sure. We take some, yeah, you got it. Uh -huh. Sarkin the Dragon Speaker. So, what would you like here? Storm Breath Dragon? Or Sarkin? Might be just, uh. Sor I mean, uh, Dragon on offense? Yeah, I think it's Dragon on offense for sure. One of the, well, I mean, like, we're swinging in anyway with one of them. We can leave this goblin back. Yeah. Tiny Leaders isn't on uh, MTGO yet. It's not, unfortunately. Is that a th oh God, stoke the flames! For the love of Pete. I do have Elf Ball built for when it is. You do, huh? I do. That was the first thing I did. Nice. We built all our paper decks, and then I made sure I had one ready for Moto. Yep. Block. What was his exile card this turn? Stoke Flames. Okay. So yeah, we're real thin. Well, I mean... Maybe? He stokes his worth three. Yeah, stoking a strike does it. Sure. 
He's got four cards in hand drawn to a turn. <clears throat> Uh, we're just getting in. I think you like just have to kill, do I, do I, do I slash killing that. the goblin, really? Yeah, I mean it plays around uh, wild slash and titan strength. Oh, this is terrible. Take it easy, Mojo. Yes, I think that's Mojo just getting in. So now he plays oh. land. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Does he have dragon? He didn't play that stroke, by the way. He exiled it. Oh. Oh, we're dead. Okay, fine. Yep, we're dead. Okay. okay. All right. Still sure you don't want Apo Siege, huh? <laughs> what is it better than? Uh, is it better than Axelot Phoenix? Maybe not. Do we just need to draw better? Maybe we just need to draw better. I think we need to draw better. Uh, let's, let's run it back and draw we need better. To, we need to start with a keepable 7, and then we go from there. Sounds great. I can't believe our opponent is triple queuing. So gross. But I mean, like, I guess Mono Red is one of the only decks you can actually triple queue with. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's definitely got the right deck choice to do it. Yeah. Yup. Still a lunatic. Still a lunatic, yes, correct. I 100% agree with you. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Mitch. Let's do this. Double queuing is easy. Triple queuing, that's when things get exciting. Yeah, sure, Phil. Why don't you go record us a, uh, a quick video set? <laughs> just, uh, just triple queue a couple decks. Let us know how it goes. Put it on YouTube for our enjoyment. Keep. I will keep this hand yep. every day of the week. Probably should have just let it battlefield forge and put the fear of wild slash in him. No, because if we find him out and it's not worth having lost that one life to cast our spell. Mm. I don't like bluffing him. Denison, sure. Fabulous. If you're ever curious where Phil is, it's probably deep in a salt mine somewhere. Deep, deep in the salt mine. Uh, so I'm not going to kill this thing right now because there's nothing that's going to stop me from like like was he going to double fucking titan strength that guy? No. Right. So we're probably okay. We'd, yeah, we'd prefer to just hit the uh, swift spear if you cast it pre-combat. kill this thing? We're going to take one to kill it. We just leave this this turn, right? I think we let it swing. Boom. And we can kill it now. Why not? I was just going to play Rob Master now. Yeah, that's fine. You got you it. What are you doing? What is happening? He's really just casting it for a scry? What is this guy like? What in God's name?
Oh. Sorry, pal. We need QPs too. Yeah. Uh, he's right at the bottom, so that's the thing. Wait. He attacked. Had no effects. Used it at the end of our turn. Yeah, pretty gross. Just time. We're gonna trade this Rabble Master, I think. Are we gonna take this four? Are we? We can't just take this four. But I mean, like. Then it leaves a Rob Master on the table. We just bolt it next turn. I think we can take this four. Uh, it's gross, but I think we're taking this four. Yeah. Oh, he's going to stoke our guy anyway. It's not an issue. Okay. All right, so. Doesn't swing. It, his sequencing seems entirely off to me. You think? Just a bit? Just about everything Perhaps? he's done. Yeah. <laughs> Tapping the four one to stoke us. So we're going to just... Zap oh, wow. this idiot now, and then attack. Good lord. Like, we're just going to do this, right? This is good? Is this good? If so, why? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's... that's uh... And not attack? We're just going to play the control game? We could have probably attacked there for one, right? Seems like bad No, I, I think I like playing control. Our top end is just dumb. Yeah, exactly. We got five drops in hand. We can... I'm like out. snap trading this thing off. And then if he goes to pump it or whatever, we'll just kill it. Yep. Yeah, that's fine with me. What do you oh have? God, second main peak eruption? Oh god. Mountain bolt. Mountain bolt, so effective. Sure. It's pretty good. Pretty good. You know what else is good? Burramaz. That guy's disgusting, actually. This guy's super good. Yeah, Austin, that kind of sucks, the whole not being able to PPTQ if you've already won. Yeah. Just the prize support on a lot of them is enticing enough where it's a, a couple of our guys chomping at the bit to get him to play more. So I'm going to block this. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we're going to get a guy, right? So. Like, so nah, if, if like... Brimas, if Brima, yeah, so he's going to Titan Strength. So Brimas gets, gets a guy, right? Like, we get a guy, yeah. and Brimas trades for one of his tokens and a card out of his hand. Yep. Like it's it's fine. We still have our token to block his other guy, and we can swing with it even. So that's fucking super gross. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then this is gonna be uber gross too. Okay. Secret yeah, I definitely still like where we're at in this game. Combat, attacks. Uh, which game is this? This is game three. Game three? Okay, that's what that. Yeah, because we had the dragons, and then, yeah, 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 yeah. Outpost Siege both ways. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I almost forgot. Two cards in hand, five lands. We have all gas. All gas. Searing Blood, my cat token. Well. Um... Like, is it worth... Yeah, no. It's not worth striking our own guy, right? Like, it seems dumb. Uh, can't be. But if we're going to take one from this anyway, is it time to strike this idiot? He's down to one I think so. hand, right? Yeah, we can strike that. I don't think he's got any end. Any juice left. Hoping that's just a mountain in the grip. Yeah. We're going to go down to eight. Now, I mean, yeah, conceivably, I think... knowing we should, knowing we were drawing Seeker, though, we probably should have kept the strike. I I knew we were drawing Seeker from the scry. Yeah, yeah, we scryed that. That's right. So that's rough. But... Hey, Nick. Uh, Stormbreath Dragon here, or Sarkin because it doesn't get stoked. I think it's Sarkin. It doesn't get stoked, and then it's a removal spell on the table for a follow up turn. Uh, 
Thunder Street Denison. Yep, sure. Got it, pal. Uh, Brim as Seeker Sarkin swing. Yep. Well, I'd say we turn the corner here. I think we have. Looks like he's going to die real fast. Especially with us playing Storm by Dragon next turn. Well, this is delicious. Violet Dragon, I don't agree that this deck needs anything else. Um, adding black only makes it less consistent. Yeah, the I, reason I, yeah, that I a lot of these decks drop blue, um, it wasn't worth uh, not having Chain to the Rocks consistently. Um, so I, I really don't think... I mean, some people have been splashing the black for, like you said, Soren and uh, Crackling Doom, but unless... Um, Saigumala becomes a bane of the format, or Tremanta Flare actually becomes a thing that I don't think I'm too concerned with the Splash and Black. So. Just to be safe, Stoke the Flames this thing. Three, six, ten. Probably you should yeah. have just gone to his head, but I really just figured for the safety I wanted the life. Well, I guess Brimaz oh, well. is going to do one too. Yep. So yeah, we got him for 11 here. And this is why I, th I thought I should have done it. Yeah. He stoked the flames himself. Him? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. Well, that's sweet. Oh, look, I need two more. Well, <laughs> two more QPs. Let's work on it. Let's work on that. All right, I'm going to grab another beer. We're going to do an announcement, and then that's what we're going to do. So I'll be, like, right back. Cool. <clears throat> well, Scotty's out, I mean, you guys can ask me questions about the deck. I'm by no means an expert, but I've had a decent amount of experience. Um... Probably about a month and a half now, playing not, not much else but this. Or you can be salty jackasses to break me like you typically do. Alright. Well, we Ooh. have another delicious innocent gun. This time, one of the Scotch Whiskey Porter varieties. Oh wow, that sounds good. It is good. It smells very delicious. So, what's going on? Cheers, all. God, I enjoy, that. I enjoy that way too much, man. Way too much. All right. Um. So here's the issue. Maybe I will see if I can hold on one second here. Let's do this. Color chroma. There you go. And it will make me bigger. Let me do this. Okay. So guys, here's what's happening. Let me level with you. So you've known for a while, people have been asking me a lot about GP Toronto, and am I going to make it, can I get, Can I go, and I mean GP Toronto is in my backyard, and unfortunately it was sort of one of those things that I knew I had a work trip coming up, and it was sort of like one of those mandatory mandatory attendance things, and traditionally they were at the end of, of April leading into May, so I wasn't really making any plans for GP Toronto just based on that. The challenge, so, so I just got my welcome package for that trip. Uh, on Friday and the reality is is that the date of that trip is actually 
exactly over Vegas weekend plus a day. Which is super awkward for those of you that helped me out and supported the 25-hour stream in order to get me to Vegas. Um, so, so as not to pull a rain ad on all of you, which I know that you know he was famous for, taking a pile of donations and then not going to the things that he got donations for. So uh, here's where I'm at. Uh, I'm going to use the money to go to other GPs. I've already committed to Toronto, I've committed to Montreal, and I'll be committing as well to an additional uh, Grand Prix somewhere in the United States. You guys let me know, we'll put up a straw poll, we'll do whatever, and we'll see where things land. That said, a lot of you I know donated to the stream because you wanted to come and hang out with me in Vegas. And I appreciate that. So what I wanted to tell you is this. Anybody that wants to send me a PM and would like their donation back, please feel free to do so. I'll be 100% happy to refund your donations for Vegas. And if, if that's the case, and you know, I, I no hard feelings, absolutely everything would be fine because that's why, it's why we raise the money. Um, so that that's unfortunately where we're at and it's a sad state of affairs it's something that I really wanted to do uh, but as it turns out I am just not able to do so so that makes me sad uh, but that said two GPs in, tr in Canada are very promising for us and then on top of that like I said we'll try to continue to do GPs in the States uh, based on where we need to be to fly so um, look for something towards the summer which will be really exciting and, uh, and we'll see you out there. And even if it's limited, I'll still go out and do it. So uh, let me know, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, Phil, I know. So, so, that's, so that's where we're at. So unfortunately, I can't, I can't go to GP Vegas. Um, but uh, but, that, but I, I do plan on going to other GPs with it. So the idea is that I want to go out and, and do the exposure. So... If so, whatever you guys want to do, if you like, I said, and and don't you don't have to do it publicly, you know, because like I know, like if it were me, I would feel uncomfortable doing that in public. But please, like, send me messages offline, and I'll one hundred percent be happy to refund your money. Okay, so I love you all. Your support means the world to me. And you know what? As long the twenty five hour stream was fine. It was fun. It was a blast. Um, and if we want to, nice, Phil. So if, if what we want to do is do more of those, because I know Kenji kind of like puts up a target and over the course of a month or a month and a half or whatever, you guys like donate to hit the target, then I will 100% do that because I, I had fun. It could be great. We can organize that stuff and and I will, I'll totally put up those goals and drive that. So you guys uh, tell me what you want to do. Tell me what you want from me and, uh, and I'll do it for you. Okay, so that's just where we're at. Uh, good news is, like I said, lots more GPs on the horizon. It seems pretty sweet. Like I was looking at Charlotte, and I can fly to Charlotte from Buffalo for like three hundred and twenty dollars. So that's really exciting. Um, you know, so so that sort of stuff. So I just wanted to let you know, all know that I love you to pieces, and that I sincerely appreciate all you did, and that's basically the long and the short of it. So there, that's my news. Cheers to all of you, and I love you. That. All right. Josh, you still there? Josh. Josh went away. I don't know where Josh went. Uh, Phil, there's like nothing near GP Toronto except for bars. I think there's a St. Louis. There is a Chipotle near there, I think, which is exciting. But uh, yeah, so it looks like that'll all be happening. So good news is GP Toronto, GP Montreal, uh, super hype. Get it done. Thank you, Austin. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Am um, I going to the GPT at Sketchbook on the 7th? I'm not sure. I have to kind of figure all that out with the wife. Because, like, I am going away this weekend for uh, the SUG. So, probably not going next weekend, you know? Um, but, uh, yeah, there, there's a Chipotle right downtown, Jackie. It's right near, like, uh, Front, Front University. So, there is a Chipotle there, for sure. I know, because it's near the TELUS building, which I know is there. Uh, also, Real Sports actually isn't that far away from the venue either. And that, that place is like game. So that's definitely something to check out too. 
Yeah, GP nonsense. Yeah, crazy wives. I love my wife. My wife is the best person on the planet. I would do literally anything in the world that she asked me to do. So, like, you know, happy wife, happy life sort of scenario for sure. Anyways. Josh, buddy, where are you? Where are you at, homie? I don't see you. All right, well, real sports isn't that crazy. Thank you, Minnie. I appreciate that. That means a lot. That means a lot. I am a hugger, so you got to be careful. I am definitely a hugger. Well, we're going to jump into this E-Man. We're going to wait for it to fill, and we're going to play this. We're going to play more of this. This is pretty crazy. There you are! I'm back. Yay! Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, we can do Beer Bistro, too. Beer Bistro is like a quick subway hop away. That'd be insane! That's gonna happen! Ah! So, thanks, Fab. Have fun. So, we had the big, so we had the big announcement, the big reveal. Uh, I did talk about it in gen uh, on the A-Team podcast as well, so that'll obviously reach more people than the stream, but uh, we'll see what happens. So, yeah. That is a thing. Uh, what if your wife wanted to change the name from Team Guys to Team Shamaniacs? I would do it. I would do it. I would at least petition for it. Yes, because my wife is the best. So, that's where we're at. Uh, so I am I, I am in the new A-Man. We are in the new A-Man. We're going to win this You're bitch. Alright. Okay. I'm down for that. One down, one to go. One down, one to go. This would I would play Team Bolas. This is going to be the first Mox that uh, Mox prelim I'm ever going to qualify for. Oh yeah, I think so. You know I'm like talking about it like it's already happened. <laughs> We're almost there. Yeah, I mean this deck's super powerful. Yeah, I'm like I said, I'm very happy with it. It's all I've been doing for a little over a month now. No plan on changing any time soon. Man, yeah. yeah, it's really really powerful. I don't have Battlefield Forges, and I don't think I have four Stoke the Flames, but everything else I think I got covered. Gotta get those promo Stokes and Forges. I have one. Yeah. I have one, but I have none of the others. Oh. Well. Nunzies. I would probably have to buy also a Mastery and an Outpost Siege, but that's no big deal. Bah. No biggie. That said, I do have Green Red Devotion ready to go. I am a big fan of Devotion. That is, uh, when Saito brought that to Pro Tour Theros, a couple of us collectively lost our minds. Uh, that was just about all we were doing for the duration of Last Standard. Well, that didn't take very long. No. Uh, and I like. <laughs> On the play, keep. Yeah. Temple. Yeah. Go. <laughs> sure. Yep. Yeah, I like the green red devotion deck a lot. Plus, it like suits my playstyle a little bit too. This is actually this is also surprisingly very good uh, for my playstyle because this place right, this plays very similarly to sort of like team guys, except more removal instead of the temple based uh, counter spells. God, this is just not. Oh, and, and Forest? Turn one Forest? Yeah. Look at this curve, ladies and gentlemen. Feel bad. Play your, uh... What is it? Rattleclaw Mystic? Play a Rattleclaw Mystic. That's what I want to see. Ooh, close. Wow. So we are <laughs> playing Rattle Master here, right? Like... Um, well, no, because then we run into a Pelucris, yeah. so we've got no way to kill it, right? Yeah, exactly. I think we want to keep him off four. So I'm fine with Wild Slash and holding up Wild Slash. Alright. Combat Sue. Johnny, you missed it? Oh my god. Alright, somebody, somebody catch him up. Somebody catch him up. He was late. Late to the party. Tardiness will not be tolerated. Nope. Sure. Of 
Corsair. Done. That's a Stoke the Flames target. It is. And I like Rung and Elvisham stick next turn. Land. Land. That's fine too. Ooh. Do you like chaining this guy, or do you like just stoking him and passing? Like, I don't feel like we're not damaging him in response. We're not doing anything. Like, I don't know. What do you think? I think... We can't attack with the Seeker. We can't? Safely. I think it's... Oh, you want to attack with it? Yeah. Before we do anything? I like aggressive here. I think it's... Yeah. Okay. Because leaving Wild Slash up, we're fine trading a Wild Slash with the Corsair. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. Sure. Um, I don't think we want to tap out to just stoke the Corsair this turn. I don't think that's being productive enough. So we can just um, it. I think we can just actually play the Raven Master here. And ideally, next turn we'll be able to double chain double something large doing. Yeah. and stoke the flames the Corsair as well. All right, you got it. And that'll also leave us two uh, prowess triggers on the Seeker, so this should be a substantial hit next turn if he obliges us. Okay. Uh, I will after yeah after we're done. I'll put that up tonight. <laughs> okay. Sure. You got it. So he does have infinity mana, but this Stoke the Flames Excellent. on that Corsair is super good. Yeah. Stoke. Just play. Event cancelled. What? What? Uh, not this event. What oh. is going on here? Check my QPs quickly. Yeah, still there. Alright, just a strange error, I suppose. Alright. Oh. You get in combat? Getcha? Wablam! To Nykthos. This is a Whisperwood Elemental? We can Robert handle Colossus. that. It's even better. Wow. Fantastic. Land, 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 land. No. Alright, well. So, that's a fine draw. Um, chain you. We just have to chain this here, right? Like, how do you not chain this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're, we're absolutely chaining that. Yeah. There's no question. Getcha. There's merit to casting the, uh, the Phoenix face down. You Putting think? a lot of pressure on. Yeah. If, uh. Yeah, it's just a guaranteed two turn clock. And with Wild Slash and Stoke in our hand, okay. I think we just want to apply the pressure. Okay. Plus, it's another guy, too, we can use to Stoke if we need to. Exactly, yeah. I'll just be more efficient this next turn. Sure. Ugh. Rough. That's rough. All right. Well, I can wild slash the mystic and then attack. He's down to two cards in hand. He blocks the seeker. Actually, that works. He's dead. Oh, no, yeah. it's not. No, because then he's, he's, he's going to be a two. Turn. Oh, yeah. But, uh, but, like, he blocks the Seeker, right? And then we just peel a land and flip over the Ashcloud and kill him? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Like, 
Yeah, I think we want to get the extra two in, so it's worthwhile. Like, yeah, we, we don't want to attack dragon, or we don't want to attack first. We want to clear the blocker, so we want to guarantee the blocker gets in, or the the uh, one of the attackers at least. Okay, really? so he takes the. He goes to five. Now, hold on a minute, because we let him untap now. He'll fucking monstrous fight. So we need to stoke this Polycronos. Yeah, we need to kill him. Yeah. Uh, what do we do it before damage, then we're going to get the extra prowess trigger. Wait, 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 wait. What? No, 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 that goes at him. No, well, I didn't. Yep. Yeah, that kills him if we, yeah. Wow, wow. Oh, that kills him. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Ugh. Punt. Ugh. Ugh. Alright. Well, that's fine. We're just gonna draw a dragon and call it a day. It's not gonna be an issue. Sure. Sure. No cards in hand. Dragon, 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 dragon. Or chain to the rocks. Rob Masters, Rob. He, he can eat our entire board next turn if he plays a land. He's got no cards in hand. Oh, the Stoke wouldn't have killed him. So, like, the Stoke would have left him at one. Because we no, no, no. Deal, dealt an extra damage with the Seeker. Right? That's why we did it in combat. So he would have been at one. No, no, no. Yeah, the yeah, The Stoke yeah. would have put it zero. No, no. Because, no, because I did it in combat, so the Seeker got the prowess trigger to go up to a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. So, so we did 8 to him. He said 8. If we hit him with a 4-4 four, four oh, Seeker... Right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 you're right. Wow, our opponent's drawn real well here. Stuck the flams off the top, dragon, something, one time. Come on. Can't get punished this bad. We're at 33. There's a wide variety of cards that turn this into insane. That's not one of them. Wow. Well, I guess that's a thing. Ugh, that's disgusting. Yeah, sure, do your thing. Yep, get wrecked nerd. Yep, okay. Sweet. Flip this over, and it's a what? Yeah, sure. Of course. Yeah. And a Genesis Hydra on top of the deck. This is gonna be fun! Can we get an obligatory, obligatory playing of uh, Shake It Off? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's just gonna play another Whisperwood. <laughs> we are at 33. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can hide dirt for nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, you can hide twelve. Ten. Yeah, he can he can go for ten if he wants to. I guess I have to block this Polycronos at least, right? Just start chomping. But block both the five fives. What's that? Like just this? block both the five fives. Four, we just want to get to get draw steps. Then if we don't block, then he just gets the damage and cleans it up with blue for us. Uh, I don't see how blue red ever beats green red, so I don't think that's viable. Yeah. Big Genesis Tundra, you got it. Damn it, Arbor Colossus. <laughs> All right, stoke the flame and bust. Don't take our You, you. Yeah. He's smarter than that. 
I guess. This list looks remarkably familiar, I might add. <laughs> like, like, who plays two armor classes in their main deck? Oh yeah, I did. Should we scoop here? Yeah, we died. That was really disgusting. I can't believe I, threw, I can't believe I threw that game away. All right, so what are we on here? Valor stance. Yep, Valor stance is in. What else? Mm. Are Rabble Masters terrible? They are, right? They are pretty bad. We're on the play, though. Does that matter? Yeah, we are on the play, so we need to have it. Uh, we need to maintain a certain density of threats. Okay. So, what are you thinking? Uh, I think Arc Lightnings can come in over Wild Slash. Wild Slash doesn't do a whole lot against them. Gotta cut one. Do you want anything else? I don't think we're bringing anything else in. Okay, so what do you want to cut? A rabble? How close did you get against him? Probably. It draws his cards. Yeah, it draws his cards. I mean... Yeah, we can probably cut a rabble master. I think... Yeah. Well, now we have to get two cards. So what? Rabble and Outburst? One of each? What else did we bring in? Hmm? What else did we bring in? Uh, we brought in an Outpost Siege and uh, oh, the two Valor Stances. Two Arc I got one of the Outpost Sieges. I don't think we need to bring both of them in. Okay. Or bring the other. Okay. And I would like to play first. Arna, the, the benefit of Chandra over Outpost is that we can just plus one or get blockers out of the way. We just, like, this deck is just about, like, pushing in your Rabble Master and see you go the way. Chandra's actually change. surprisingly good here, yeah. too, because you get the scenario where you get to, like, just falter the blocker and push through. Exactly, yeah. We are in a lot of trouble, by the way. Yeah, this was a weird hand. But the first one was unkeepable with no mana, so. Yeah, oh, yeah absolutely. Gots to do it. So much stuff. Yeah, that was real bad that we punted that game away. We being me, of course. Uh, that's a radical mystic. Stoke's not bad. It's not a bad draw. Uh, I'm gonna wait for Ch Chain to the Rocks, whatever he casts, I think. Yeah. Yep, knew that was coming. Sure. It's five mana. What are we casting? Whisperwood Elemental on turn three. Yeah, I'm playing this deck on Sunday. Or on Friday, for sure. <laughs> like, for sure. How do I not? How do I not play this deck? Like, I put up such a wicked record with it during the stream. It was pretty gross. Wow, look at that board. Lightning Strike and Chain of the Rocks. Yeah. The worst part about these manifests is sometimes it's worth killing them, sometimes it isn't. But, like, in this yeah, exactly. deck, you kind of have to gamble. Yeah. I think we're breaking on that's a forest. What's that? I think we're banking on that's a forest. Are we? Yeah. Okay. So you I don't want to kill the manifest. I, yeah, I think we have to kill the rattle claw. Alright. Alright. Come on! An anger would be good here. Two elves. 
You know what else will be real good here? Arc Lightning. Yep. Oh, there you go. And the wrist wood? Polychronos. Okay. Getting hit for three. No, that's four. So we have Stoked Flames and we have Chandra. Unfortunately, not many of these are very good in this spot, spot right here. Um, I think we just Chandra eat an elf. Let her get eaten by blue girls. Or did we play our land this turn? Yep. It's a matter of okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well then. Get in with the team. We're in some. So I think we lost. I think we lost. We're at 10. Yeah, we're done. Alrighty. Throw the tickets away. Well, that was exciting. Womp womp. Womp womp. Alright. Come on, baby. Whoop. Boom. We're in. Just like that. Oh, I should make sure we edit our... Before one now. Due to the punt count. Uh, we won the die roll. That's good. So, I'm not sure where exactly to send the sheep to worth, but uh, I really need to get on that, huh? What? Yeah, I'll give this. Uh, I'm not on the white list it. anymore, I guess. Oh, I'm yeah, yeah. Get, get back on my freaking white list. Jeez. Where is a bastard? I don't condone what Kevin Metal said a couple weeks ago at the, at the uh, Heavy Metal podcast. Seeker here, and then we can, like, kill something and swing. Yeah. What a damn elf deck. Courser. Nick Phillips on top. Courser's yeah. getting chained to that rock. Yep. Whoa! No. Nope. Um. Or, or we chain the courser, for, lightning strike. Yeah, okay, let's attack first. Attack first, because we'd rather spend a, a lightning strike on the courser. No blocks. Okay, so now I think we can strike the elf, chain the courser. Strike the elf, get in the extra damage, chain to the rocks, mountain. Yep, go. Carry it in. Well, okay. I guess we just cast this outburst then. Um, yeah, outburst swing. Yep. Ideally, he just taps out for a blue from us here. No, we just stance it and range him. Yep. I like it. Plus we're at 26, which is super gross. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Lucranos. Bingo. Lightning strike. Sweet. Okay. Just 
destroy target feature? This one? Aww. Did that happen? I'm sorry. Yes. Attack with all. Boom! Yep. Five you? Yep, yep. Five. Whisperwood. No, what the hell is this? Oh god, Jen said before. Yes! It's nothing! It's exciting stuff. It's a Voyaging Seder? I think we have to kill the Voyaging Seder, unfortunately, but. Um, we'll see what happens, because we can use a strike to train up a goblin to a Genesis Hydra. Yeah. That's cute. Easy follow up. Attack with all. What would you like to do? Huh. Alright. Yeah. Strike this. One, two. Yeah, I guess we have to strike this, right? Kill the 4 4 that we can't otherwise deal with. We're at like 11 million life. Eleven million. Eleven million. Yeah. Nothing? Jeez, he just snapped it off, eh? Alright, so now we know. He's drawing land too, though. So he's just gonna keep whiffing too. Alright. So you're saying there's a chance. My body. <laughs> Attack with dragon? Is this good? Okay, you're a two. Super, super. Did you draw enough? Going with no. Well, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. He's got a lot. He could, he could, ooh, he could he's hit. He's up to six, seven. Oh, God. No, he doesn't have enough. Oh, Christ, yeah, he does. Oh, Lord. <laughs> eight, nine. God, please yeah, just tell me four. this isn't a Hornet Queen. No, it's X equals four. He's going to eat the dragon. Oh, he's just going to fight? Yep. Wow. He's dead to like a million spells out of our deck. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna find one rune spell, one dragon. Stoke. G G. Thirty to negative two. I'll get. Take it. F seven. Ugh, F7 is supposed to put my triggered abilities on the stack. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Um, how does this deck match up versus Four Color Soul? I actually, like this one, Red White, it can be tough. Like, especially post board when they board up to a lot of Valor stances, it can actually be really hard for us. Plus, their, like, little removal kills all our mana guys, so it can actually be extremely difficult. We have to have, like, super good draws. Um, okay, so in this matchup, where did we want to be? We don't like Wild Slash, is what you said. But you like Valor Stances, because they're super good. Yep. You like Arc Lightnings here. Yep. And what else? Just cutting a Rabble? Cutting an Air yeah. first? No, uh, I think the ability to go wide with Outburst is better. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? No. Okay. Run it back. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know if you're aware of this, but we actually haven't had a keepable seven cards. Oh, Lord. All right. One threat, and this looks really good. <laughs> or more Valor stances. I will take every Valor stance in the deck. We're still fine. I love this card. I have, like, a really... Un I have an unhealthy affliction for Valor stance. <laughs> it's like, it hurts me. It's, it's agonizing. It's so good. My mic is not acting up, I assure you. It's probably mine. Yeah, it's yours. It's almost certainly mine. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Awarded. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Hot dog. Yeah, my mic's fine. Wow. You have a Corsair. That's fine. <laughs> and now you have an Elvish Mystic next turn. Fine. Am I just going to kill this thing? Yeah, it's dead. Huh? It's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Corsair died. Yeah, you know, of course. We have a Corsair down. Uh, this is sweet. I'll play the Seeker the way. Deal. Sounds good. It's going all the way. Going deep. Deep woods deep. Mystic. Fine. <laughs> Seder, you got all it. these spells. Yeah, scry. Ugh. Scry, scry, scry. Get out of my house. Ow! Well, I'm gonna attack. Swing. I don't think there's any way he attacks in a million years, but I could be wrong. Error blocks. Yeah, no. Does not block. Good. That does not block. That a girl. Yeah. Way to go, Bessie. That's a big Arbor Colossus. It's pretty big. It's dead. I know it's dead. But he doesn't know that yet. Cute thing that's dead, bro. Dead. God, these... Uh, to make this block again. Now, now he double blocks. Tell me he double blocks now. <laughs> okay. I'm not Fair stancing enough. our guy to make him indestructible. He finally wised up. That's fine. No, sir. No, <laughs> that's fine with me. It's all right. We'll stance what he plays this turn, and the next turn we'll have a dragon and a chain to the rocks for the Whisper Elemental. Okay. Oh, uh, no, no. Stop. Stop. No! Damn it! Turn off auto yield. Er, you no, have priority right now. Just missed it. Do it. What? Do it, do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you need to do it before and stuff. Yeah. You. I like had it. It was just it was passing by, and I clicked on the little tab to stop, and it didn't stop. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny because like standard and modern, you actually need like different stops. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of different shit to deal with. Like you need basically stops on the mains in mo in uh, standard, but not a modern. Yeah. Whereas you want like upkeep and draw stops for sure. You need draw stuff all the time in modern. Yeah. yeah. Top that shit. Sure. Nope. Go. Not trading with a manifest token. That seems absurd. It ain't safe. <sighs> Jackie is just like militant with the punts. All of the punt count. Oh, he's flipping this manifest over. Uh -oh. oh god, it's Polygranos. Blue. 
Well, he eats our guy, then attacks us for a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Take 12. 11. Play Forge. Play Outburst. Play Chain of the Rocks. Where did this idiot Let's go? Sigh. <laughs> Tom M is Tom Martell. Yes, Nick, that's correct. That is correct. Tell him I say hi. Really, another Pelucanos? Really? Really? I don't know why I keep wanting to, like, cut one of him in the deck. We're dead. Died. Dead. Game three? Game three. Okay. Yeah. Any changes? Some thought to Phoenix. What's that? Some thought to Phoenix. We just kind of got to go over him. And we can handle his, uh, uh, our work losses. Yeah, I like those cuts. We'd like to play first. Yeah, absolutely. We keep, keep the hand. Bingo. Oh my god. Uh, dig for a planes here. Yep. Sweet. Go, chile wele. Ooh. Spicy meat ball. Okay. Oh my. He didn't cast anything on one or two. No. Uh, Mastery is for the control deck. Yes. It is too slow for aggro decks. He's drawing a land next turn. Just drop burn spell. Just drop burn spell. Just drop. Not a fucking burn spell. Okay. So. I think we're Valorous dancing this courser and going all aggro on We're this just space. going in, huh? This next turn. This turn we're swinging for six, putting him to 12. Next turn we'll have three Seekers and a Dragon coming in. Yes. I don't think he will. That game. He can't cast. Best he can do is like a clear pronounce next turn. Yes. Yeah, I got this. See you. Yep. What's up, Speedy? All right. Greatest Claw is one of them? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so he lost. Oh, barely. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Oh, You're dead. Oh, you see that? All right. Five one. Solid. Still nobody in our queue. Um. Still have a few hours to earn QPs. Good, excellent, fantastic. Very happy. Yeah, this deck's like super powerful. 
when you get the right draw, Seek of the Way is completely abusive. Oh yeah. And he's nuts. Wow. Wow. What I think is really, really powerful is that this deck, I believe, is the most efficient double spelling deck in the format. Exactly. That's where we we break stride. You know, once we hit turn three and we're playing a two mana threat and a chain to the rocks, or turns where we're able to cast a Rattle Master and a chain to the rocks, or a two mana spell and a lightning strike, that's where we start to break ahead. Yeah. And then it's really easy to finish them off with a dragon or what have you. Yep, I agree. I agree completely. Wow, this is busted. Um, my honest opinion is I don't think you need Ashcloud Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah, he could probably be cut all together. If I'm looking at the deck, and I feel like, and and you may not agree, but I think it's, I think I would 100% just straight up replace it with Outpost Siege. Yeah. I really would. Just because I, yeah. I felt like we got a lot of, we got a lot of utility out of both ends of that card. Yeah, yeah we did. Um, so I would, yeah, I think that's what I would do. And I would even just go so far as to cut the second one, out, or cut the, the second one out of the sideboard, and then gives you space for something else. Yeah. Yeah. But very happy with the rest of it. It's been really good. Just Phoenix seems like it's been really underwhelming. Yeah. yeah it has been pretty lackluster tonight. But again, that's tonight too, so not discounting it all together. Alright. What's this one? We are still waiting for a lot of folks. Mm. I am not going to jump into another queue. That is fucking crazy talk. Yeah. Crazy talk. So, Josh, tell us where you're from. I am from Central Massachusetts, okay. Worcester County. You are uh, from the uh, wonderful land of Boston. Boston it happens. Oh yeah. Nice. Although I I play most of my magic up in New Hampshire. Um, if any of you are up around Keene, Comic Boom is uh, the place to be. Cool. So you'll find me battling up there. Friday and Sunday evenings. So it's really strange for you, right? Because like being in Canada, uh, going to like different states, unless you live like on the borders of them, doesn't happen, yeah. right? Traveling between provinces like that, yeah. It is ridiculous. Yeah. So it, yeah. it, it's something that I noticed when I went down to Cincinnati to visit Medina a few years ago for the SUG Cincy down there. And yeah, it was just yeah. like, oh, we're going to my buddy's house. Sweet, where is it? Kentucky? Like, yeah, the other state. The fuck just... are we doing driving to Kentucky? Well, it's only a 20 minute drive. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to run a state over or two real quick. Yeah. And yeah. we'll be back tonight. Yeah. yeah. So that that for me is weird, but I, I get that uh, I get that for you guys it's fairly normal. So Especially out in the yeah. East Coast. Like, you guys, they're all almost yeah. fucking on top of each other. Yeah. So. Well, that's cool. So, what time? You, when did you start playing Magic? How, who got you into it? What happened? Tell us a story. Um, I got into it. I I went to a summer camp again in New Hampshire uh, when I was, you know, from when I was eleven. Uh, I started working there when I was seventeen, and I worked there until I was twenty-one. But when I was fourteen, I guess, um, a couple of the guys were playing. You know, I just sat down with them and was curious, and they got me into it. Uh, I played Tribal Bears against Tribal Dragons uh, for, like, two weeks that summer, and that got me really hooked. And then I bought, uh, like, a 10th edition starter, and I had a Shivan Dragon, and that was sweet. And then I didn't actually start playing again until... Uh, three years ago, I started my new job at a couple of the clients there. Um, I work in inpatient care in a residential facility. Cool. And a couple of the guys there played Magic, so um, I busted out the old cards. And after that, you know, they can't go out of the house for events or anything, but I found the shop and I uh, go back into the swing of things and start playing competitively again. Nice. Awesome. Well, that's really sweet, dude. So your uh, so your favorite format then currently is. It's tough. It's uh, I don't think I could make up my mind between modern and standard. 
they're both uh I can get sick of either of them, but um, they're both my favorite format at times. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with the place both with where both of them are in right now. Which oh, is, absolutely. Which is really strange yeah. to me, right? Like normally I'm yeah. I'm very invested in one over the other, but I I've been really impressed with with the standard format, and I mean it's changing again, right? So that's yeah. So that's yeah. really really exciting. I can't wait to see what Dragons comes out with. I mean we're basically what like five weeks out from previews or some shit, even yeah. less I think. Yeah. Real close. So, yeah, it's like really, really neat stuff. Yeah. And I'm definitely happy with a standard format when there's a comfortable uh, aggro deck I can play. Um, it's not always that way in modern. You know, Team Geist wasn't you know strictly aggro. Like I said, I had played Boggles before, and I was a bad person for a long time. But, uh, I was since a bad probably, person for a long time. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes you just get in on the wrong side of things, and sick people rope you into doing bad things behind the uh, dumpsters after school. That's terrible. You should never, never let the shady people tell you what to do. Yeah. yeah. Say no to Boggles, kids. Say no to Boggles, kids. PSA. Yeah, Josh Knight, 2015. Say yeah. no to Boggles, yeah. kids. You can quote me on that. Go ahead. Do the right thing. It's awesome. Oh, wowza. What the heck's going on here? My phone is just deciding to do its own thing. This is actually going to be the first weekend in a long time where we don't have any events in the area. Really? You should try Baltimore. Anymore. It's not that far. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> Three and a half hours for me. Tommy's driving. Hit your ride with him. Yeah. I think Tommy's looking at. Uh, no, Tommy's like half hour away from me. Yeah, he's not no. far. He's not far. I lied. We actually, I think we have our first uh, Tiny Leaders event Sunday night at the shop. The actual Sweet. first organized one they're doing. Sweet. So, like, is that format actually good? So, like, cause, oh, it's incredible. So, hold on. Hold I'm on. in love with it. So, let me preface, right? So, I play Commander. Okay. I enjoy Get. Commander a lot. Get out. Let me get out. We don't want you here. Oh, man. This, is, this format isn't for you. Okay, but hold on, but hold on. So I enjoy Commander a lot, but, like, I yeah. enjoy broken degeneracy of Commander. Yeah, get out. <laughs> really? You're talking about, like, seven mana board wipes. That... No, 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 no. Oh, you're talking about, like, turn four. Eight person kills. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm talking okay. about like Child of Alara lands, man. Like that's what I'm talking about. Get on in. You'll love this format. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, that's a blast. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's EDH without all the wimps. So okay, so that so that's what it is. Like nobody pisses and moans and complains about it. Yeah. Yeah. You get to play like the hyper competitive Legacy Light decks. And half the people are trying to combo, and then the other half of the room is playing dice. And, like, it's, I don't know. People are still innovating. You know, it's really young, so there's still a lot of stuff going on. But a lot of people are at least have honed in to the, you know, 50 card, 13, 2 card combo deck. You know, really? Like everything they can jam in it. Ugh, but, uh, good lord. I don't know. A couple of guys, some people just run straight to aggro. Um, I'm playing Shu Yun, uh, Tempo, it's, you know, Team Geist, Legacy Delver, you know, it's a lot of fun. He seems really yeah. sweet, actually, like, Shu Yun seems like a really neat place to start. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he's really cool, I've had a lot of fun with that. I feel like Anafenza also, just based on the colors, could be pretty sweet, but then I think about it, and, like, I think all of the cards that I really like in that color combination are, like, fours, fives, and sixes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You want to play junk for the uh, the payoff cards. Yeah. So I don't know. That's interesting. It is yeah. neat though. Like I, I mean, like I, Animar I, seems gross, but the payoff kind yeah. of falls out, right? Like, you get to the point yeah. where, like, sure, you're casting him for three, but like, everything's three. Yeah, exactly. Um, elves are degenerate. A lot of people flock to that pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, like, from an empty board, my, I, I watched the game a couple weeks ago. Somebody had Concordant Crossroads and then, like, four 
the combo elves, Ugh. and uh, they resolved um, an overloaded Mizzium Warriors against them, wiped their board, left him with nothing but recording for asteroids, and then he untapped and killed them. So okay. is is Cyclonic Rift banned in this format? Like, are these are these cards, huh. like... Oh, it's God, just... Austin! With Animar, you play Hydras? That's so gross! Hydras are so... Oh, oh my yeah. God! <laughs> I didn't even think of that! <laughs> wow. Yeah, call me up the Crescent Moon. He's my, uh... He was my commander for the longest time. Yeah. So the very first thing I did when I saw this format, I just cut all the... You know, four and higher cards out of the deck, and it was a tiny leader deck, and you know, did the same exact thing. It was still Owl and Mind Control. Wow. God, I didn't even think of that. Oh, God, that's so busted. Ugh. Wow. Wow. I, I, I understand as well that um, the Esper 3 drop one is also pretty gross. The I have Artifact no idea one? They, so, oh, God, what the hell's her name? Like mini Sharoon, basically. I think Jack LaCroix actually actually built. I uh, wrote an article about it. Um. Uh, what the hell is her name? Ugh. Um. You know what? Screw this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this all together. We are gonna do this together. Magic. Cards. Dot info. All right. Ready? Um. Advanced search. White. Black, blue, require multicolor, converted mana cost is three, uh, rare, commander, go. Damn it, maybe not rare? Let's take the rare piece out. There you are. Sidri, Galvanic Genius. Oh, oh, oh Sidri, okay. Yeah, I forgot she was just Esper. Yeah, she seems pretty sweet too, right? Like, I think there's a lot of decks that yeah she's really good with. Yeah, there there has to be busted artifact deck in the format. Yeah, Speedy, you can't do that. That's cheating. I mean, look at these spells you get to cast in that deck. That's so busted. <laughs> Charms. Oh, so good, so good. Um, God, what was the other one that I heard about? It was. I don't know. Fuck it. Whatever. All right, Arcade, have... ready? What? The... Uh oh, yeah. Hit me. Okay. What is this? No clue. Lord of the Pit. No, it's Liege of the Pit. I'm pretty amped up for this. Oh, game. it's Lord of the Pit. Up. All right, fine. Uh, do you know what this card is? Last one is act. Good. Know. You've done this before. Is yeah, I got that. Oh, Act. It is. Do you know what this one is? No idea. Demonic Attorney. Do you know what this one is? Nope. Helm of Chatsuk. It gives all creatures. It gives one creature banding. Do you know what this one is? Not even close. No, Seeds of Innocence. Damn it! I need the set. Uh, this one? Mom with an apple. It's not Autumn Willow, but it is from Homelands. Nope. Daughter of Autumn. Uh, you know this one? You should know this one. Nope. What? I knew um, Avatar of Dark Clouds. Corona False God. Oh. oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, that one. Nope. Uh, this is some Dryad. Uh... Oh, no, it's a Verger and Enchantress. I forgot. Uh, this one? Uh, is that Magister of Worth? It is! Okay. I knew it was from Conspiracy, at least. This is pretty iconic. Barbs. Yes. It is mana barbs. Uh, I don't know what this is. Nope. Huh. Jinx Tidal. Cute. This is iconic. The Hive. Oh, here's one Legacy player. What's this? I never said I played Legacy. <laughs> 
Imperial Seal, rather. Okay, this one, this one, you know, right? Bainslayer, yeah. Bainslayer Angel! The hell is this? This is a Hellion, right? Crater Hellion. Sorry? Crater Hellion? Maybe. Yeah, look at you! Uh, this is the Noblest of War. Nickel Bolas. Here's one. No. Nope. Predator. Nope. Force of Nature. Check out this card. Green, 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 two. 8-8 eight, eight, Trample. Beginning of your oh, upkeep, pay four yeah. or it deals eight damage. Yeah, that's killed me in Momir about a dozen times. <laughs> I should know what that does. No, oh, I don't know what this one does. What is this? This, this is oh. the up, um, updraft or something? Or up spray? Crystal spray. Uh, this is the... Elvish Leer? No angelic voices. This one's this one's a pretty good one. Murray's Wake. I have no idea what this is. Alright, where's our match at? Good god, White Rabbit and Patrick Russo. Lord. Lord. I don't know what this is. No idea. Desecration Elemental. Four mana fear. Whenever a player plays a spell, sacrifice a creature. 8-8 eight, eight with fear for four mana. That seems pretty good. It's unnatural. This is really good. Pattern of Rebirth. Yeah. Uh, Dross something or other? No, Kettery Parasite. Hmm. This is one of my favorite cards of all time. So I played this deck, this deck, or this card, Wand of Denial, in a um, in a Zur's Weirding deck with Soul Echo back in Vision's time. None of these cards, you have any idea what they do, huh? You're old. <laughs> I'm old. I am old. I've always <laughs> said that I'm old. It's amazing. Man. Yeah, I've been playing since Revive, so I don't know. So there's a bunch of stuff I don't know, but I'm pretty good with art. Also, it's it should be noted that all of these are rares, and I'm really bad with the little limited ones. I don't know what that is. Uh, is this Genesis Chamber? Beacon of Destruction. No. It's not destruction. Oh, it is Beacon of Destruction. Oh, it's the... What the hell? Damn. Yeah, no. That's, That's right. totally not the Beacon of... Really? I seem to remember that being different. Uh, all right. Whoa, this guy's mean looking. I have no idea what this is. Do you guys know what this is? Tell me. Kudzu. Oh, with Kudzu, yeah. So this was a uh, target land becomes tapped. When it when it becomes tapped, it's destroyed. Unless that was the last land in play, it's not discarded. Instead, the player whose land it is destroyed may place it on any other land in play. You pass this stone rain back and forth across your opponent. <laughs> so good! Oh, magic. Clash of realities. I don't know what this is, either. Death Pits of Wrath. Oh, God, that's a good card. Oh, it's the 8-8 eight eight maker. Christ. I don't know what I have no idea who this is. I don't know. Some shaman of some sort. Ogre shaman. Jesus, you guys! Hurry the hell up! I'm not double queuing because it'll totally ranch us. Right? Oh, Josh went away. Oh. Why are we not playing Kudzu in EDH? I don't know. It seems like a misplay. What the hell is this? Veteran 
dollars. Fine. Oh, it needs to give me something else. Alright. All right. Need your screen back. Okay. I can do that. Woo! Uh, share. Nope. This one. Start. Play some Momir Basic. Ugh. Can you play casual Momi or is it only dollars and cents? You can play between people. Really? Like for free. Yeah. Alright, well. If that's the case. Hell yeah, we're doing that. Yeah. Constructed open play tournament practice? Is tournament practice Momi a thing? Momir. Play. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to play twice. Continue match. I'm going to be triple queuing two of them Momir basic. Yeah, it's Momir. We're fine. Yeah, no! I mean, basically, you're just tapping me on every turn anyway. Uh, so those forces in Momir are busted, right? Like, the eight mana forces are stupid. Um, some of them are just okay. I mean, the black ones, like, a 7-7, a seven, seven, whatever. Yeah, because um, she's like tutoring a land every turn, yeah. Yeah, the three ones lackluster. And the white one is lackluster. Um. I don't know, the red one's good, the green one's good, the blue one's fine. You want, like, a chromas. Yeah. The 8-8 uh, the eight, eight maker. God, Sire, and, oh god, that's so gross. Yeah. Is this not a thing? Is it only just for fun? Yeah, like, people hardly ever play. Just have a... Somebody in the chat um, challenge Scotty if you have a moment in your deck. First time I played, I got Phage. Yeah. Yeah, I played last night, or... I guess it was like two nights ago. Uh, my opponent... I turned seven, uh, put Platinum Angel in. My opponent turned seven, put Phage in. Ugh. He had all the luck. Yep. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys my Tommy. Tommy of the Crescent Moon. Oh Cookie god, Moon. Cookie Monster is so awesome! So he doesn't like cookies. You know what? On that note, I'm gonna do that too. Hold on one second, I'll be right back. I got something to show you all too. Shit. Uh oh. Pillsbury Doughboy. Your Kami? Your Kami is the Pillsbury Doughboy? So I've got, so I had some buddies that um, worked this out with my wife actually for my birthday. And so I have Child of Alara, okay, which has been redone as a foil overlay. And the artwork for the child is actually the uh, um, fucking sonogram of my daughter in my wife's womb. Oh, holy Christ. Right? So it's been changed to be the child of McCallum as well, instead of child of Lara. It's so insane. It's That's so insane. insane. Yeah, it's the ultrasound all colored out of my daughter. So yeah, it's pretty wild, man. It's, wow. uh, it's a big pride, big pride and joy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's the the obnoxious child of Alara deck. How do you not? How do you not? Yeah. So yeah. Nice. 
My wife won. Hmm? Your wife won. My wife wins all the time, man. That's the point. Like, I keep telling everyone, they're like, would you do everything your wife says? I'm like, yes, she fucking is amazing. (laughs) Like, that's what she does. Who do you think got me my pimp-ass green screen? My amazing wife. (laughs) Like, come on now. She wins. She wins. Shards of McCallum confirmed. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Return to Alara. Been renamed as. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, these, uh... Good lord. It's terribly, terribly, just killing me. Just killing me. And no one wants to play Momir, either. Suck it, Momir. This is terrible. Constructed tournaments. Kill your format. Momir. Needed, needed, needed. I hate playing Moby for tickets because then I feel bad. <laughs> Pay attention to it. Yes! Yes! Good. You get to play. We have a. Uh, okay. Here we go. So we, of course, get to play against one of the slow people. Patrick Russo was one of the slow guys. So that's Thanks. awkward. All right, we can do this. We can do this. This is no problem at all. Oh. A literal non-issue. I don't have a. Oh no, mine. What? I what? thought I was. Uh, I thought I lost video. Uh, I thought the game had started. No. We're good. We're good. No. Oh, man, folks. We're here. All right. Mm. Do, do, do. Why are we still playing? Why is the round still going? How about we move the round along? Yes? Yes? What? What is happening here? Yeah, I... I don't know what's going on. Uh, I can do this. I could do the reboot, the MTGO reboot. Yep, ABC123, that is the password. Spread the news. <laughs> uh, I have cascaded into Boom Bust. I have done that. I'd like to do it on the back of Bloodbraid Elf with the Knight of the Reliquarium play, though. Good thing I rebooted Moto, huh? So my event has started. Yes, there it is. Excellent. When the die roll two? Mmm, so delicious. Six? Round two? Yes. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. I what? like that hand. You like this yeah. hand? Yeah. Yeah. Because we get to temple? Yep. And being on the play with the threes is pretty sweet, right? Yeah. Just chock full of them. Oh, God. Hmm. I think, <laughs> oh, uh, rat. I think we put that on top. I did put that on top. we beat him to death. Yes, uh, I, I like that. Amongst the face and neck area. Repeatedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just generally in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See what so we have a uh, what's your first three drop of choice generally, Rabbit Master? It's going to depend on what he's doing. What the hell is he doing? Mardu? Oh, I guess. I think once Gumby puts forth his tweaks of his Nidek, it's going to be really good. Alright, pass go. Okay. You may go. Hmm. 
the rabble into rabble and just beat his face in. I mean, if he's not showing any sign of foul blight, I'm on, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is our opponent... Oh, okay, there we go. Like, is our opponent stone doing nothing? Is our opponent double a triple QA? Oh, I sure hope so. We, this is a, uh, oh, thought seize. Oh, all right. Well, good thing we have infinity redundancy. We are relatively thought seize insulated. Mm -hmm. This is a board meeting. Absolutely. All right. The likelihood of pants is zero. It's higher than that. Uh, Rabble? Yeah. Yeah, Rabble's fine. What are we doing here? Well, what's going on? What is this? Lightning strike? Okay. Uh, Brimaz or Seeker? Mm. Both have merits. I think it's Brimaz. I guess is that's going to die to a crackling doom. I mean, our other option, we could have just cast Outburst. We could have, but I don't want to over ourselves up to Bioblight like that. Sure. Yeah, that herb work shows Bioblight is probably a very real possibility. Marty John. Weird. Alright, Scry. Evolving Wilds, which I don't want. Get out of here. Uh, play Seeker the way. Attack. <laughs> Nick. Kibler and Tom Martell both in his eight man. Poor guy. Poor guy. I mean, to be fair, it's cold in my basement. I'm wearing socks at least. Soulfire Grandmaster. It's weird. Very. What do we have here? I feel like this smells like a bile blight, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Reeks of it. Yeah. So we'll just jam a Stormbreath Dragon. Put it on him. Yeah. Put it on ya. Um, I'm going to get him with the Seeker, too, I think. Yep. Yeah, I'm fine trading. See if he wants to trade. He won't, but two extra damage is fine. Well, then again, I mean, like, it gives him an opportunity. He to Because he might gain life, right? Yeah, exactly. He wants to gain life here. So that's probably reasonable. Wouldn't be the worst block in the world. Oh, all right. Stoke. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's a mountain. Damn. Attack you. 
Is it like we outburst here? We've got no, no other play. He's basically doing nothing, right? Yeah, yeah, we I think we have to. We have to start trying to apply pressure if he doesn't have it. Yeah, XLR, we've fetched basic planes uh, several times tonight. We're playing Burmaz on the deck, and like you said, we only play four uh, planes in the deck as it is, so... It's also, um, it's, a, awesome. it's also a single copy. Exactly, yeah, it's one of them. Yeah. We play five untapped lands. Or uh, five tapped lands, right? Yeah. Oh, more Grandmaster. Lightning strike. Strike? Storm dragon? Dragon. Feels good. Is this good or so what? Dragon you. So just if I attack with two, it's gonna only deal like an extra one, yeah. Attack with dragon. Yeah. Alright, take four, sweet. Uh, is it worth playing the mountain? Probably not, right? Like, we can just play them on. Well, maybe I can do it during upkeep. See what happens. Yeah. Excuse me, big gone. Alright. Grandmaster, gonna attack? Nope. Gonna get and quad blocked. Alright. Against Mardu. Mardu. Tokens or some shit, maybe? What do you think? We want Valorous Stance. I think they come in. Uh, I think the thing is, we gotta think about we didn't see. Um, Hero's Downfall is definitely a possibility. Yep. Um, it, we didn't see Bob Light, but uh, we definitely have to continue to play like it's there, especially after Sideboard. Um, Butcher of the Horde. I think we can swap out two of the dragons for two of the Sarkins, uh, because he has substantial threats and he might have access to things like Grimaz. Um, How's that look? Yeah, I mean, you'll look at it afterwards. I mean, the Phoenix is probably fine here too, right? Like. Yeah, He's I think I do like the Phoenix in here. Maybe we don't want Arc Lightning. We didn't see any reason to play it. Like, Correct. Just yeah, I don't think we want Arc Lightning. But yeah, Phoenix is coming. Mastery? Fairly good here? What do you think? Um, I don't think we want it against him. Okay. I think uh, he's going to have... Uh, I think it's too slow, one, and two, he might have, um, or he's definitely going to have Flare of Heresy off the board to deal with Chain to the Rocks. Um, so I don't think we're really going to stick one. I do play one with multiples. That's a good hand. It's reasonable. We need, we need a land to make it good. Well, yeah. Alright, let's see what happens. Needs to stop yawning. That needs to stop happening. <laughs> All right, land, land. Oof. Need a mountain. We want the seeker. It's a third fucking seeker. No. You need to find a mountain. Uh, land counts twenty four, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Nine mountains, five plains, uh, four of the dual lands. Yep. Yeah. And one um, one mana confluence, one of all the wilds. Hmm. Jeez, that's got to stop right now. <laughs> stop. I've yet to do my groceries tonight. What? I go I've yet to do my groceries this evening. Well, so aren't you go like uh, like? Don't you work nights though? Yeah. So what is this like? Coffee break for you? 
Oh yeah, yeah. This is like lunchtime for me. <laughs> yeah, not so much. Mountain, Rebel Master. All right, top you, boom. Get there. Seeker and Chain uh, Rock, same turn. Super broken. Yeah. I do have to go in tomorrow and work 19 hours, so that'll be fun. Jeez, man. It's a long fucking time. Mm. Alright. Mountain. Uh, just Rob Master here, or you want to Seeker and chain this idiot? We can chain him. We don't want him getting any more life. Although, uh, that is their only rule as well. We do kind of have our attack with idiots. Um, although I feel like he's representing Crackling Doom here. Okay, so play Rob Master, get a guy? Well, he won't even let us get the guy, he'll just eat the, the Rob Master. Okay, so what do you want to throw away? No, I, I think it is Seeker Chain. I think we got to start just uh, just getting aggressive and hope we can deal with these threats as they come. All right. You are the boss, boss. Go. Crackly Doom! Yes. Survey says, yeah. Mardu Charm. And Mardu Charm. Still took two. Yep. Plays his own, oh, Monastery Mentor. Monastery Mentor. Well, that's going to be a problem if we don't find a way to answer it. Maybe? Nope. Grimaz is a good consolation prize. Don't crack on things. Or any other removal spell you play. Or Just bad. stoke. This is a stoke the flames for sure. Oh, oh. that's gross Same. too. Sure. Oh. Mardu tokens list. Weird. Oh yeah, Mardu Charm makes a little more sense in that show. Oh, my land is rough. We are getting wrecked. Wow. That's not good. No. Maybe we wanted Arc Lightning or something. Yes. <laughs> yes, we're getting demolished. Damage. Wow. So, still probably completely out of the deck? Likely, yeah. Hey, we got any things? We do, and that's about it. Mentor's really good. I want it to be way better than it is, but I think it's just yeah. powerful enough. Yeah. Outpost siege. Dragons? I'll just get more gas with which to kill you. Yep, on dragons. Sure thing. Oh lord. <laughs> well. I feel bad trading this Phoenix for a fucking token. 
I mean, fine. We're not really trading it. We still have the morph. Still gross. Still doesn't make me very happy. No. And he just kills the goblin anyway. Should have totally blocked the goblin. Blocked the goblin. Yeah. What's up, Brainstorm? Tyrone in his house. There was a monastery mentor list in the Vintage Super League this season. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was watching a list of videos today. Oh, damn. Really I didn't dope. see that. Let's go back and watch the clown. In so much trouble. Yeah. then we did win game one we did we do have a game in our pocket so just come in and we can still win here we do have a dragon coming we just gotta hope he uh, does nothing forever Ugh. that no. Well, he's got Wild Slash. All right, we're dead. Yeah. That'll do it. Oh, wow. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. Uh, any changes that you want now that you've seen it? Arc Lightnings we want? Arc Lightnings are coming in. Okay. What else? Anything? I think the... Now I'm curious about how good Valorous stance is. He is, uh, well, I don't know if we're cutting all of them. But, uh, yeah, uh, Wild and Slash is our good in some number two. Is that for a set? Six and two. Try that? I think we can cut our Phoenixes. All of them? And then we know he's going wide. Okay, so what would you like? Oh. The outburst again? Yep. You want Outpost Siege, maybe? The other Wild Slash? Robin Master? We're at 60 right now. I think we can run this. Okay. Okay, I would like to play first. Thank you very much. We have a hand! Yeah, I'll keep that. Just gonna not see any more lands for a while. Might as well get the planes here. Yep. Well then. Yeah, that was weird. We had a really weird read on this deck. We kind of, our sideboarding was kind of a detriment to us that game, too. Yeah. God, I can't believe he's playing, like, multiple Marty Charms. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a strange brew. Yeah. Seeker? No more lands ever. That's right. All done. Now on nothing but gas. Pure, unfiltered, ultra gasoline. That's what I want. And grandma's into Chandra and a dragon. All yep. day. All day. All right. Rabble Master. Hmm. Combat, combat, combat. Yep, get a guy. Sweet, bash his face. Mm 
and these. He has nothing on to. Wow. Huh. Start killing all the guys on three, though. Yep. Uh. Thank you, gods. Good lord. That's awkward. That was awkward. Threat off the top? No, just land. Okay. So now we just kind of huddle down and pray we don't die a slow pain to death. Yeah, we just gotta wait. We got removal spells, which is fine, but... We do. Oh, goodness. It's got absolutely nothing. Well, this is Ravel with stains, so that's Oh, uh, God, if this is Crackling Doom... <laughs> it's really rough. What are we gonna do? Not play it? Like we have to try to win, yeah, right? You gotta do it. Come on, guy. Be nice. One time. Just play things, Drake, or something. Okay, that's fine. F six. Oh god. I didn't mean lightning strike it then. Holy. Just... Good god. Still has five cards in hand too. Is this Butcher? Sword. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Please. Okay. So here That's we fine. have to actually just wild slash Soren, right? Um, so do... I think we want to kill both things, right? Oh, all right. You want to do that? That's fine. So, like, yeah, arc lightning hit the token in him, and then just wild slash storm. This. Okay. Don't redirect that damage. No. Correct. And then this one will be hit here. Yes. He has four cards in hand. We are yeah. so far yeah. behind. God. Mentor. And mentor with his spell up. Yeah. Woo! And we have nothing. And land. Oh, so dead. Top. Ooh. I have a feeling that one's not going to matter. I think we're too late. Yeah. But, uh, pretty gross. Yep, you got it. Okay, so this R is gonna do something. Now put three on the mentor. Just in case the wild slash. Okay, it's fine. Mentor, you've been oh, sure. Oh man! Land. Thank you, Worth. Thank you. No mercy. It's not dead. Not dead. Not dead. <laughs> Four cards in his hand? Totally dead? <laughs> okay, yeah, you got it. That's it. Well. <sighs> that puts us out. No bueno. No bueno. Well, it's going to do it for me tonight. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Minnie, where's that deck you want me to look at? 
So we'll link it, there. and then we'll call it a day. Shaman shenanigans. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. All right. So it is a red, green, Court of Calling Hardened Scales deck. That is designed around Shaman, Whisperwood. Yusova is pretty cute because she can threaten shit, but Hooded Hydra is a good card. Flamespeaker is interesting, especially when combined with Shaman. Uh, Rabble Master is super good. 24 lands, 3 cord, 3 hardened scales, 2 Xenagos. Meh, I'd be interested to see it play out. Mm. Hmm. Huh. I feel like there's maybe not enough payoff cards. Yeah. Like, the top end is, uh, Shaman. Yeah. That gets eaten a lot of the times real quick. Yeah. Same with Isova. Yeah. I mean, Hooded Hydra's not bad, but it's no it's yeah. excellent, I think. Yeah. Alright. Well... We'll call that one a night between rounds because we are not playing anymore. We did get eliminated. Oh, we got one of them. We did. It's one o'clock in the morning. It's close. Very close this time. Yes. Uh, guys, tune in tomorrow. There will be some modern. I will be jamming the last modern run on Moto before I go uh, to Baltimore. I'm leaving like Friday morning super early. So feel free to come on out and support. We'll be streaming the nine o'clock daily. Um, <clears throat> if I can get it together and put together some sort of stream or something on Thursday uh, before I go, then I will, but that'll probably be during the day. So, uh, In the meantime, Josh, who would you like to yes, shout yeah. out? Share your love with the world. Um, shout out to the SVU. Um, you're all unbelievable. Um, hey team, heavy meta, you guys are all the best. Uh, Comic Boom, Keen, New Hampshire. Uh, check it out if you're local. Um, you can check me out on Twitter at Steam Vlogger Josh. Um, and I think that's all I've got. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes, I am, Karn. I'm driving to Baltimore. For FaceToFaceGames.com, MTGOTraders.com, and of course, the fine folks at Innocent Gun, I am Mr. Scotty Mac. This is Master Magic. This board meeting is officially closed. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow night. Take these, boss. <laughs>